Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarty. I'm here for the next four hours, but I'm not alone. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got the very fabulous Lucy Brennan here and also Bex Reid. Do you want to see how today's shaping up? Do you? Do you? Let's take a look at this. So at 8 a.m. Creative Grids, you've been asking for this. What sort of uh, rulers should I get when I start quilting? Da 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 da. All in there. 9 a.m. Art Gallery Nest Collection. If this doesn't make you broody, I don't know what will. Uh, Lucy Brennan's here. There, uh, it's just stunning. It's gorgeous, ridiculously cute, beautifully soft, gorgeous stretch. Oh, you're just gonna love it. Absolutely love it. 10 a.m. <clears throat> As I say, Rebecca Reed is on her way up from Bristol as we speak. She'll be on the train. Morning, Bex, if you're watching. Uh, she's technical editor of Simply Sewing magazine, and she's made a lovely messenger bag. And uh, we've got that for you this morning. And then at 11 o'clock, Lucy is back with an evergreen quilt, which is looking really rather lovely. Now, because it's birthday week, yes, it's still birthday week. Whoop, whoop. Does that mean that we can still eat cake for breakfast? Technically, yes, producer Hannah had curry for breakfast, but we'll gloss over that. Uh, I don't have to share a gallery with her, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> that's director Tim, he can have that joint. But look, we've got this. Now, so, our so special have been our little treat to you, so that we've always made sure that it's been cracking value, and today we've got a metre and a half's worth of fabric for free, yay, uh, in this bundle. So if you need all the colours, and it's always such a popular one, apart from in the warehouse, because they've got to cut it all, uh, then this is going to be just before nine o'clock today. So the so special is always there or thereabouts, nine o'clock. So join us just before, well, you're not going to go anywhere, are you? Because we're made, we've got gorgeous stuff coming up today. Uh, so that's going to be just before nine today. And again, you're going to have to get in quickly with this because it always Belize. If you need all the colours, and then you've got a colour for all occasion, for every backing, for every florally thing that you need to pick out a background, it's there. It's just there. It's beautiful. Oh, now, talking of other beautiful things, over there. Now, when you buy anything today, it's a bit like, um, you know, when you, when you buy your strip of little tickets for a prize draw or a raffle. It's a bit like that. Every time you buy something, each item works as one of those tickets into our prize draw. So you could be the lucky winner when we, uh, when we pick out the ticket tomorrow of all of this. And look, you've got some beautiful fabrics there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. And look at this, a bundle of Tilda. I mean, yes, please. Look at those. Stunning. And... A book and a gorgeous bag with sausage dogs on. What's not to have? That's all going to be gifted. At 11 o'clock, we're going to announce yesterday's winner. And we'll show you that prize and everything then. Do you want to have a look at the website? There's lots going on today. It's a busy, busy morning. Let's take a look. So www.sewingquarter.com. There it is. Oh, we've got some uh, exciting special offers there with the magazine subscriptions. Maybe we'll talk a bit more about that with Bex Reed when she's in, given that magazines are her thing. Um, we'll talk us. Shall we get her to talk us through there? She can give us all that background info. Uh, and then, so if you head to watch, or you can shop, watch, wherever. Have a rummage around the website. It's great fun. Uh, then underneath, there you can, you can watch us live. We had someone watching on the train the other day. Very nice. Uh, message the studio. We love to hear from you. That's been the really lovely thing, being on air for a year. You know, we've got to know so many of you from your messages that you send in. Can't always read all of them out, but it's always lovely to hear from you. And we generally read them after the show if we don't manage to read them during the show. Uh, Hannah's just writing her name uh, because she can. Oh, she's put her full name in there. Do you know what, producer Hannah? You know my surname's McCarty. Every time I go to type it, predictive text, it gives me your surname. It wants us to be related. Then uh, underneath are going to be all of the products from today's show. So it's like a, a quick, quick fix little, um, what should we call it? Shopping list. It's the word I want. I've lost my words today. I woke up at one o'clock and go back to sleep, so I have no words. Now, uh, I'm just going to put a bit of fabric down on the desk here because we've got some creative grids for you. Now, you all know, because I make absolutely 
Um, no bones about this. I love creative grids. And I also make no bones about the fact that before um, we started the channel, I only sewed stuff I could cut with scissors because rotary cutting scared the living daylights out of me because I used cheap, sorry, I did, cheap rulers that slipped around all over the place. Um, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. It's as simple as that. These are creative grids, and they are fabulous for many a reason. So I'm going to start off with this one here. This is the largest of the squares that we do. I'm going to talk you through all the different sizes and why each one is fabulous to have. Now, I have this one, and I absolutely love it. So this is 20 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches. Um, I've put it on some fabric there so you can really see rather than the desk. As lovely as the wood is, but you know. Um, now, creative grids are different from other ruler manufacturers because I don't know if you can see these little, these little circular bits under here. And what those do, oh yeah, well, they're getting a great shot. Well, look at that. You see all these little bits here? These are ingrained non-slip bits. There's probably a far more technical uh, term for it. But it's almost like someone's put a bit of sand actually into the plastic so that it grips. Look, on that fabric, that is not going anywhere. And that is the key. You're not going to waste fabric from slipping as you cut. You're not going to hurt your fingers from slipping as you cut. That's the key here, uh, is that that has got that fantastic inbuilt grip. And that's what I absolutely love. That's one of the many things. The other thing that they do, especially with their squares and their rectangular rulers, is they have one set of... Um, uh, numbers in white and one in black. So down here you've got, here we go, so all of these here in white give you just plain inches. So if you're cutting just a normal inch that's absolutely fine and that's the same down that side and along that side. But if I swizzle it round, look at that, I've got inch and a half which then includes your seam allowance. So if you're cutting something, uh, and that's why it's a 20 and a half inch ruler, so that you can have a finished 20 inch block, but you've still got that half an inch in there for your seam allowance. And down here, the non-slip grip is a half inch, and on the other side, it's a quarter of an inch. So those, the, there you go, that's your half inch. So you've got that as an easy, easy reference. But if you're after, because I don't know about you, sometimes I find it difficult to find uh, quickly if I'm, you know, cutting at speed, because I can do that now, because nothing's wibbling around the place. Um, then it's a really, really brilliant way to know that I've got that half an inch measured, lined up on those lines perfectly. Love, love, love this. Uh, this ruler I use time and time and time again. $49.99, and I think that's that ruler done. Now, the next one is a really great size. Let's go down a size. Now, this it, producer Anna says, why would I want this? Well, for many a reason. Firstly, oh, poor floor manager Wayne, he's standing with a cutting mat for me. I'll get to that in a minute. Thank you. Um, this is a lovely size. For me, the next ruler I'm going to show you is a 12 and a half inch ruler. But for me, if, if I'm going to do something that is 12 and a half inches, actually, I want the next size up ruler because I want that little bit of safety to line everything up and then cut from there. That's, that's what I really like about this. So this is going to be a 16 and a half. So those larger blocks you've got covered. You're not having to work with such a large one as your 20 inch, but 16 and a half. Uh, that means that if you are also doing four inch blocks, then of course you, you've got four of those and then you can trim them down. So you can trim down those larger ones. So a four inch block is quite a popular size. So you would get four of those along there and you'd be able to trim down and trim back once you've got them all aligned. And again, you've got that inbuilt non-slip grip. You've also got your inches and then your half inches if you swizzle it around. So all of those have that feature, which is just fab. Lovely, $34.99, so a really handy one. Because producer Hannah said, but why do I need 16 and a half? I think, well, sometimes, especially if I'm cutting back to 12 inches, I want that little bit of extra. But also, if you're trimming down um, four four-inch blocks, then done. Perfect. But having said that, let's move on to the next size. 
Now, this is the science we asked you for our block competition. And, you know, some of you do just want to just use the ruler that is the size. So you would put that over your 12 and a half inch block before you cut it and, uh, to, to make you a finished 12 inch block. And you would just chop, 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 chop. Maybe you'd have it on your rotating cutting mat. You'd just rotate, cut, rotate, cut. Uh, and you're absolutely good to go. Again, that non-slip grip, that's all on there. This one designed by Rachel Cross, who is the daughter of the founders of Creative Grids. Um, I've got a little creative grid secret which I can't tell you but there's some exciting stuff coming we had an email from Rachel the other day saying oh could Natasha demo it she's learned how to cut with our rulers mm. mum's the word on that one can't tell you but it's very exciting so creative grid's got lots going on and this is just this is a great place to start I had a message from someone the other day saying Natasha where do I start quilting and then so many this was on our new fan page we've got a fan page, a sewing quarter fan page, which is lovely. Uh, lots of you getting involved there and sending in your pictures of things. She said, where do I start? What rulers do I get? Where do I start? Something like this is a great place to start. Um, but Creative Grids, if you're working with rulers, Lucy Brennan's with us later today. She's very lucky. She started off with Creative Grids rulers. I wasn't quite so lucky. I had a few that, you know, buy cheap, buy twice. Get this and then you're sorted. You won't have to buy another one. And if you look after it properly, then you've got a ruler for life. Talking of looking after it properly, now, we've got ruler racks. Brilliant. Now, what you will notice with these creative grids, especially the larger rulers, is that they do have holes in them, like there, so that if you wanted to put a little nail in your wall and hang it up, then you can, because these should be stored, um, you know, really safely, because that's the way that you're going to um, make sure you've got the longevity of your ruler. But these are brilliant. Now, we, we brought these on the first day of birthday, and we thought they'd sold out. We managed to rush through an order, and bless them, our, our suppliers got them to us um, at, you know, double quick speed, really. I don't know quite how that happened. But this is the smaller size. This is 6 99 You've got four different slots. It's made out of wood, but look, they just nestle in there beautifully. And it's got a non-slip grip um, things on the base, so it's not going to um, damage any surface that you're working on. It just looks really lovely. And uh, it's so handy because then you've just got them there. You've got them sticked. It's one of those things, isn't it? Simplicity is the key. Sometimes the most simple of ideas are the best. Now, what I would say with the smaller one is that you'll find up to the 16 and a half inch if you're going for squares. Um, you can do longer oblongs, uh, rectangles, but I wouldn't go, like I tried to put the 20 and a half inch one in. It was a bit too big for it. So you'll need the larger ruler rack for that. Um, but this one, great for those smaller rulers. You've got them there, you've got them to hand, you've got them safely, and uh, they're not going to be on the floor and getting trodden on. Oh, Helen says, morning, Tash. Nice to see you back. Um, who is the cutie behind you? Oh, Helen, look at him. That's next hour with Lucy Brennan. But isn't he gorgeous? This is new art gallery fabric. And there's a design with a sheep on that Lucy, Lucy has an irrational fear of sheep, so we'll have to kind of keep the sheep away from her. Uh, so watch out for that. It's quite interesting. Um, <laughs> That's next hour. No, she does have an irrational fear of sheep. I'm sure she won't mind me telling you. She has said that she'll try not to recoil when um, we show you when we show you the sheep later. But yeah, he's a cutie, isn't he? Um, now, this is our larger ruler rack. Now, again, we've managed to get hold of some more. This is the one that I'm going to get because this will fit in my larger rulers, which is really fabulous. And we'll have a look at these rulers in a minute. But the larger ruler rack, I'm just going to show you that you can whop your big one in there. There you go. You see, you couldn't, fit that, you couldn't fit that 20 and a half inch one in the smaller one I tried. Uh, so if you do have something this size, or maybe you've got the stripology or something like that, go for this one. It's only three pound more, but you know, you paid a lot for your rulers, so make sure that you, you look after them and then they will last your lifetime. Then it's an investment. And once you've got them, you've got them, you don't have to buy them again, unless you break them. If you've got them stored, you'll be all right. Um, so this is the large ruler rack. You've got five... Do, 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 do. Rulers come separately, obviously. Woo! So if you missed out on birthday day, look, I'm sat in there nicely, beautifully, beautifully done. Love these. These are so handy. And they look great. They look really great. Now, let's have a look. What have I got in here? Oh, the largest rectangle. 
Uh, now, why do I need a large rectangle? This is a fab, fab size. Let me spin that around for you. So, in fact, this is 8.5 by 24.5. Why do I need that? Well, let me show you. This fabric here is um, Macawa, one of our Macawa standard fabrics, standard solids. If you're buying the rainbow just before nine, for our so special, uh, then they are all this width. I believe it's about 44 inches. So when that is then folded in half, and that's your standard width, you know, when these are manufactured, generally um, the manufacturing process, that is the size of the loom when it's woven on it. So when you put that on there, the reason it's 24 and a half inches, some fabrics obviously are a little bit wider, but what I love about this is that when you cut it and you've got it folded in half, you can cut your straps in one go. You've got a little bit there at the end, a little bit there at the end that you can abut your rotary cutter before you start. So you're all lined up, ready to cut, and then you also can come way off the end, way off the end there, safely. And that's why these are brilliant. Now. That is um, eight and a half inches wide, 24 and a half inches long. But look at this one. Sometimes you want something a little bit narrower. Say you're just going to be cutting your two and a half inch strips. You've got your fabrics and you want to, okay, maybe you've got those rainbow fabrics and you want to do a beautiful rainbow strip quilt. So you're going to be cutting your two and a half inch strips, cutting loads of them. Sometimes you want something just a little bit narrow. It's just a little bit easier to use. Sometimes that's just, Easier to use. It's a nice to have and very nice to have. Um, and so again, you've got that same 24 and a half inch width. So with every cut, you are cutting selvage to selvage when it's folded in half. Really, really handy. Now, is this the, have we put these two together, producer Hannah, and a third? Well, you see, this is new to me. Have a few days off and what do they do? They start bundling creative grids and giving you a discount. When did we do that? When? But here we go. This is the other size that's really handy. I've got this one as well. And I have to say, I do use this a huge amount. So this is 12 and a half inches by six and a half inches. And sometimes the 24 and a half inch, you don't need something that long. Especially if you've already made a bit of a mess like me, um, then actually you, don't, you might not have room. You might have to tidy, heaven forbids. So this is, uh, this is great for just those slightly smaller ones. Chop, 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 done. Now, for the first time, dot, 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 ever, hang on, I'm just going to move that so you don't get the flare off the lights, um, you're making a saving of £11, but if you're just starting out, this is a brilliant bundle to go for. So you've got your nice big wide, so if you're doing nice wide strips, then you've got that, that's your eight and a half inch one, fabulous. Then we've got our slightly narrower one, which is... Um, if you're cutting in narrower strips, great to have. That's your six and a half inch one. And then this one, such a handy little size, 12 and a half inches by six and a half inches. Put your hand on what you say. Oh, she doesn't know she should say it. Oh, oh, I don't know you should say that, Producer Hannah, but I will repeat you anyway. Producer Hannah says, and this is unusual because normally she doesn't like to share, um, if you want to um, maybe buy it with a friend and then share, you know. Oh, yeah, that photo is a little bit misleading because those two big rulers are the same length, just so that you know. It's just how the photos were cut and cropped together. But look, you can see there's both the same length here. Maybe one of you wants the bigger one, one of you wants the little one, and to the left. I don't know how you want to share it, but... Or, you see, producer Hannah, it's controversial sharing rulers. I'd just have them all because they're really handy. But look at that, saving £11. So if you are someone that's starting out, you think that this is going to be the way forward for you, a bit of quilting, make the investment in getting really good tools. Um, because otherwise, if you buy cheaper ones that wibble and wobble around, you'll lose your confidence, you'll waste fabric, and that is far more, or, heaven forbid, actually hurt yourself because you've, chopped your finger. So please, please, please go for a real good quality ruler that will last you an absolute lifetime. And that's what we have for you here with Creative Grids. 6297 OMG C22. OMG C22. Love these. I'm going to just stack it in there. You need, yeah, you need one of these in your life. It's brilliant. If you're buying that, 
that one. Get this as well, because look, then, ba 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 ba, it's quite satisfying as well. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Uh, June's message then. Oh, it says, morning, Tash. Love to have you back. Oh, thank you. Um, I hope little Freddie's feeling better. Lots of love, June. Oh, June, you're so sweet. Thank you. Uh, for those who don't know, my poor little four-year-old's got glandular fever. Who knew? Everyone keeps saying, but that's the kissing disease, isn't it? Well, I don't know what goes on at nursery. No idea. Might be a popular boy for all I know. Um, right. But thank you, June, here. I think he is just starting to... Just starting to change and get a bit better. Right. Now. Ha-ha. Um, I don't have a cutting mat actually here, produce Hannah, but it's just over there, so I'm sure that lovely Wayne will come through and show us everything in a minute. Now, nah, oh, look, here we go. The cut, I've got my, my rotary cutter and everything. It's all good, it's all good. Ah, here we go. Now, oh, pff, blimey. Hey, get yourself a good cutting mat as well. Now, here we are, here we are. If it means I'm actually going to do something, which is, you know, Controversial. Now, let me show. What do you want to look at first, producer Hannah? Triangle first. Now, this is your classic 60 degree triangle. Here we go. And again, what you'll start to notice with creative grids is that on any kind of fabric, you can really clearly see every, all of your markings there because you've got them in white, you've got them in black. Now, why is it? Hang on a minute. I haven't got my money's worth. Look, someone's cut that bit off at the end. Yes, you have, because what creative grids do is make it really easy for you. So actually, that will be what we call a dog ear, and that will be something that you would otherwise have to cut off. But because you've also got that cut off, often when you, um, when you line up, it makes it a lot easier to judge that quarter of an inch. That will give you your quarter of an inch as well. Really handy. They really know their stuff, Creative Grids, because their quilt is designing for quilters. That's the difference. And um, they have lots of different top quilters designing various ones for you. Now, look down here. This is often a quick guide as to the sort of things that a ruler can do for you. I say for you, you know, I mean, you've got to actually do a bit of cutting, get involved. Um, so you could do little things like that, little hexagons. You can do your borders. What I, you see, I always want to call those like um, jaws teeth. But there you go. So this is eight and a half inches here. 60 degrees, obviously it's an equilateral triangle, so each of those is 60 degrees. This is 20.99, and when you've got it, there are so many different measurements that you can use, different sizes that you can do. You've got through here, you see that non-slip grip, it's all over the place. And then, if you've got one of those um, QR readers, you see, I normally want to say QS, but that's like quality seconds, that's a shop, isn't it? No, it's QR reader, then you can scan that, and that will get, take you straight to some demonstrations which is brilliant. Uh, but look, you see on there, not moving. Love that. Now, so we've got that. It's one of those handy shapes. Just need it. You know, when you need a quick triangle, boom, there it is. Now, <laughs> producer Hannah says something I love. As lovely June asked about my son, Freddie, yes, he, um, he has been home ill with uh, glandular fever, which means that I have had to watch a lot of things like octonauts, back to back, so the English paper piecing has had to come out because obviously I can't be out of his sight because then he screams. So what better way than with your creative grids? So here's the thing. With these, um, we've got all four. Let me put all four on my piece of paper. This has basically been my life for the last week. Ah, look at those. There they are. Looking good. Yes, yes. And what you'll notice is that each of them has... And I'll just get my little pen in there. These. Now, if you want to just use these to mark off your quarter of an inch, then you can. But you see, there you go. And then just join the dots. But you see, you can equally use it to make your template for your English paper piecing, if you're using it for your English paper piecing. So you just draw around there, use that as your template, cut out your, uh, your, English, your, pa your paper, for the English paper piecing bit, there we go. And then, all you need to do, cut that out, and then cut your fabric here. So 
then all you need to do, and how many layers am I going through here, is then that will then mean, obviously don't just go cutting right into the middle of your fabric like I am. Now, it's a really decadent, silly thing to do, but I did get it out of the scrap box, as you can see, like I didn't even iron it, that's naughty. But round you go, if you've got a rotating cutting mat, even better. And I would recommend a little rotary cutter for these. I've used a little 28 mil one there, and there it is. Perfect. Ta-da! Perfect. Lovely. So that is now your hexagon, and when I cut this out, that is then my piece. So then I'd get my glue, that gives me a quarter of an inch seam round there. Bish, bash, bosh, jobs are good. Un. That's a technical term, obviously. Oh, look, I did two of those in one go. Uh, so you've got all of those different sizes there. Now we've got one and a half inch, one inch, uh, two inches, all in there. Yeah, one and a quarter inch, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, and two inches. Yes. Now we've bundled the triangle with the hexagons. Because if you look on the ruler here, look, you can make hexagons with the ruler too. So then you've got all the other sizes going up from there, chopped in, there. So it's, this is your um, classic shape bundle with your 60 degree triangle, which can let you do hexagons as well, and your four piece hexes, which always you go crazy for because they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And they've got the non-slip grip and everything else that you need in there. It's just fab. Love these. But then equally, you see, even if you don't have to use them for English paper piecing, nah, uh, you can just mark on your fabric. So if you've got one of those fabric pencils, you can just mark on the fabric and then that gives you your, your, um, your sewing line. It's brilliant. Absolutely. It's just so well thought out. $36.99. Love it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go over here. Now, in my trolley, let me show you these. Look at this. Love it. If you want to make that, that is your diamond wedding ring. It's a stunner, isn't it? And maybe if you're going for the so special at just before nine o'clock, where you get all the colours, Beautiful. Um, and then, whoo, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is with a triangle that I'll show you later. Oh, no, it's here. So there you go. That's there. So let me show you what we've got, what relates to what. So your diamond wedding ring, if you want to make this, lovely. I, do you know what? I'd quite like that as a bath mat. Or you could repeat it and just... Oh, that'd be huge. Um, or you could do that as the top of a bean bag, do another one on the bottom, and then just... Mm. Uh, floor cushion, yeah, massive, great big uh, floor cushion. Or what do they call them? Poofs. Uh, this is your diamond wedding ring templates. You get all of those in there, plus full instructions, by the way, because, you know, yeah, I'd look at that and not really know what on earth I was doing. All instructions at Shandy. Oh, do you know what? I'll take it out of the packet. I mean, let's be decadent this morning. Why not? Um, there you go. In there shows you full instructions. That's the other thing to say about creative grids. When you get your creative grids, don't, don't ever throw these away. The black bit of packaging, never throw it away. It's not packaging. It's your instructions. Again, you've got your QR reader there. So you can, if you've got that on your phone, I've got it, I don't ever use it, but I've got it on my phone, I could if I wanted. But you can also just, they give you the website as well for them where they've got video demonstrations. But look, you don't need it because you've got step-by-step -step instructions here. It's all brilliant. Plus Lucy's done the show with these. She loves them. There you go. So that's $29.99, but this is a classic, isn't it? If I made that, I'd be like, yeah, I'm a quilter now. I've quilted something a bit special. So $29.99 for your um, non-slip grip diamond wedding ring templates. Now, maybe you want to go for a big 
double wedding ring. Not big double wedding. This is your wedding ring templates. These, I mean, look, look at the packaging here. Whew, serious business. Now this is really time consuming with that. Imagine having to try and cut those curves any other way. No, no. But look what you can be making. Full instructions. And that's very important. We do want full instructions. And step by step, really, really clear. Step by step instructions, which is what we love. I mean, look at that. Look at that. How, how would you cut that otherwise? How would you cut that? Well, you just wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would you, Lucy? No. Nah. No. Look at all of these. It's beautiful, isn't it? So if you want to be doing that, 37.49, you've got it. You're good to go whenever you want to do it. As many as you want to do. Just brilliant. Now, this is my triangle. Oh, where's my fabric gone? There we go. This is my triangle. It could be your triangle, actually, you know. Here we go. Now, this is 120 degrees. And look again on the ends here. We do not have the dog ears. They have been cut off for us. They know their stuff. So again, that's a, you know, it's, that's not, that hasn't snapped off in the journey. That's meant to be like that. Okay, so you've got 30 degrees there, 30 degrees the other end, and of course that leaves us with 120 at the top. Because of course they always end up to 180 degrees, don't they? Um, you can also use this, because you've got a nice long length there, you can also use this to cut some strips. And look, it even shows you, it gives you the measurements as to which different strips you can, you can just cut with. But look at the designs you can do there. Oh, nice. And we use this to make this. Ta-da! Isn't that amazing? I just think it's gorgeous. Look at that. How else would you do it? You just wouldn't. I just think it's beautiful. Yes! Uh, so if you would like to be able to make things like that, things like this, and all of these, we've bundled all three. Now this is, I, I think this is, this is quite a statement, it's quite a statement bundle, isn't it? Wow. Um, and we've given you a saving, we're giving you a £12.50 saving. It's nearly the cost of a ruler. Just, just you know, it's like we've, poof. So um, 79.97 gets you all of it. That's going to keep you quiet for a long time, isn't it? That's a big old bundle. So if you are going to the next step, if you do want to make slightly more intricate, um, oh, well, we're li limited already on this. And crazy for it. 79.97, MPGC 66. We haven't done this before. Not before birthday week. Nah. -uh. We've never, we've never bundled them like this before birthday week. This is just a little birthday from us to you. Hey, let's give you a little discount, but don't expect it forever, you know, because you know it's just celebrate birthday along with cake. Uh, right now, Lucy's here. Hey, Lucy. Hello. How are you doing, mother? Not very well. Is that? It feels weird this way around. I know. I like in the wrong part of the studio. <laughs> I did say, which is set two? There's no machine. I did what's say, what's set, what's two? set two? It's because you never come over no, here. No, I never come over Apart here. Apart from our challenge. That's very true. I was here the other you day were. and forgot. Yes. yes, I forgot about I that. Brilliantly. I wiped You're it from winner. my mind. Oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, Scrap Crazy, you're yes, a fan. Yes, I am a big fan. I really, really like these because I think... Um, there's a lot that you can get a lot out of using them. Do you see what yeah. I mean? There's a lot that you can um, create. With we've got them. two sizes. We've got yeah. six inch and we've got eight inch. This is your six inch. Lucy, never throw your packaging away. No, never. Don't never. Do it. So that's your six inch and it's got all sorts of weird and wonderful, crazy paving-y things there. Uh, and then this is your eight inch. So we've got two varieties for you. One will make a finished six inch block, one will make a finished eight inch block. So it's up to you to decide. Yeah, they're slightly um, different in that. For the most part, when you're using them, um, you're cutting all of the shapes from strips. So it's very, very simple. With the eight inch, you can also cut from a, um, 10 inch squares. Oh, nice, okay. Stop myself saying what I call that, but the 10 inch square packs 
you can cut the shapes from that go. as well um, with the eight inch, which is nice. If you can't decide, I'm quite an indecisive person if mm -hmm. I want two things. There's basically, I just have to have them both. Yeah. Then um, get them both. We've bundled them and saved you six pounds. Yeah. Happy days. And they're, they're great because you can use up all your small pieces of fabric or you can cut them from um, meat, you know, from the full... From your yardage. Uh, which, yeah, exactly. Yes. And the um, patterns that they create are so interesting. Hey, look, should we look at that? Yeah, and depending on where you um, put the fabrics, you get a really... Whoop, you We're going to break the studio <laughs> as well this morning. Okay. You get a really different look from it, but you can see there on the... Um, diagram within that you can get um pinwheels and all different kinds of things going on crosses so Do depending you know on where you put the fabric you'll get a, a different look photocopy that color it yes. in yes absolutely and just have a play with the different designs yeah obviously you have your full instructions ours have been well loved as you can see i mean you probably saw on the packet it says our studio samples <laughs> yeah yeah Means no one's walking home with that one. Um, now, can those shapes be used separately or do they have to yes, be? Yes, you can use them separately. So, the nice thing with the eight inch there is you've got a rectangle. Oh, nice. So, essentially, you could just use that on its own, you know, um, for it's cutting. It's quite a matty little size, actually, isn't it? It is. Just it's a really nice size. Trimming so little things down. Exactly. Trimming things off, trimming off edges, um, you know, you can use those very easily. And then you can create more than just the block that's in the instructions. So you can use those shapes and come up with your own things. So for example, the AB, the one in the middle, that would look lovely um, for like a mitered uh, border, you know, so having the different shapes going um, all the way around in a border. And then with the six, eight, uh, six inch, excuse me, there's um, even more variety. So you can create hexagons with it, um, different triangle blocks, and it's, I don't have enough hands. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> um, five templates because this one has two on. And in fact, it's the same with the other one. One of the templates has two pieces on. So you're getting an even smaller triangle within this template as They're well. They're brilliant, aren't they? And they've they all are. got that non-slip grip, so you don't have to worry. Because otherwise, I, I wouldn't be cutting. I just wouldn't feel safe cutting. No. And these are, these are small little pieces. So you can, as you're working on other things, you could take a little piece from each project that you're yes, working on nice. and then end up with a really beautiful scrap quill at the end. So... Very I nice. love them. Because um, Lucy, you you started off with creative grids, didn't you? You, you didn't start off with any yeah, other. I was very, very, very fortunate. Lucky, yeah. yeah, very fortunate. I got um, very good advice, and um, I began with the creative grids. Now I have used other other brands, and I have tried other um, rulers, but I will never stray, and I haven't bought any other rulers, which I think says a lot. Though these are the ones that I spend my money on. And it's because not I like you haven't been quality. exposed to other makes. No, all, it, yeah, all kinds. I've, I've tried lots and lots of different kinds. But that inbuilt grip, the way they're designed, the measurements that are on them, the ease of use, everything about them makes them so, so easy and a joy to use. Yes. And when you're doing a lot of cutting, you know, it does get repetitive. But if you're constantly having to readjust your ruler and, and move things around, it just becomes a faff. And, and recut because you've yes. slipped as well. That's, yeah, absolutely. That's the other thing. And small pieces like that, I, would, I wouldn't use one that didn't have um, grip on it. Well, you see, this is it. Because if you have another ruler that doesn't have that inbuilt grip, you've then got to pay out again. Yes to get the grippy bits, which yeah. don't always stick, wobble it's not about. The it's, it's, it's not, not the same, and, I, and, I've, no. and I've tried them, and you, you, know, you can make it work, but they don't last forever. This is inbuilt. I will say the other day, I was having one of those days and fumbling about, <laughs> a bit like that, and dropping things, and I dropped my long ruler, which I've had for years, <laughs> about three times, and every time my heart just leapt into my mouth, and it was fine. It's absolutely fine, not a dent on it, absolutely fine. So they're strong, you know, they're strong and yeah. sturdy. We don't recommend you do that. No, don't, I mean, don't drop them off. If it happens, <laughs> yeah. if it happens. You're having one of those days. You see, what I need is one of the stand things to keep yes. them really safe because I did watch my Great Dane walk over one of mine because I had it on the floor to keep it flat. And I had yeah. one of those moments where you're like, oh, I know, oh. I know. Um, so these are fabulous, we've bundled them. So you don't have to choose whether you're going six or eight inches, 
and both really useful sizes because you can combine them as well. So you can mix this with um, 12 inch blocks, mix that one with 16 inch blocks. Nice. So you can add them into other projects. So they're really good standard uh, sizes of blocks that, that they create as well. Thank you. Very well. I think you've got time very quickly to go and have a quick cup of tea before you're on. Run, run. And already we've had lots of messages about your beautiful print. Oh, lovely. And I have explained about the sheep situation. <sighs> Yes, just deep breath. Just to pre-warn, Lucy deep has breath. a bit of a thing about sheep. I Not do. Not in a good way. I have to say, to be honest, they're so cute, they don't frighten me. Is it proper fear? Thinking about sheep does frighten me, but these ones are very cute. That's <laughs> new art gallery fabrics uh, next hour with sheep and bears. Yes. Thank you, Lucy. Thank I'll you. I'll see you in a little bit. Yes. Go and, you know, chill out. Enjoy I yourself. Will. I'm going over here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, oh, now, yes, these are fun. So, you know I'm going to need my cutting mat again, don't you? Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> Lucy's creeping off. Look at that, tiptoeing. She's like a teenager getting in late, trying to miss the squeaky floorboard. Lots of practice. Yeah, no, well, lots of practice, she said. Dirty stop out. Uh, here we go, now, my beautiful rat. Racks again. Uh, no, not, 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 not long till they're so special, so I need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Um, Wayne, please may I have the cutting mat? Cutting mat. Maybe. Now, the larger ruler rack, 9 99 Just get it. Just get it. Enjoy it. Because also, you can put multiple rulers on there. So if you've got a shorter one, look at this. Of course, if you're buying any of these rulers, just make sure that you can store them nicely. Yay. Um, We've got lots of odd looking rulers here. I'm not going to lie. Very strange. But I'm going to talk you through these as much as I can. So uh, I'm going to grab a quick cutting mat because I want to show you the basis of these. Ooh, I've got one. I've got one. There we go. Yay. Now, ooh. Oh, Anne says, welcome back, Tash. Thank you. Uh, you look a lot better than you did on birthday day. Yeah, it wasn't my best day. I uh, hope oh, Freddie is fine also. He's getting there, and it will take a while. Glandular fever does, but yeah. Ha! Uh, now, I don't really know yet, producer Hannah. I'm just going to... Which one do I want to start with? Let's go here. Let's just take... Whoop, let's just take the first one that I come to. Uh, this is your four and a half non-slip 60 degree double strip ruler. Whew. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? But it's going to do a lot. And uh, it, look, it looks really weird. It looks like some sort of mountainous range. It's not. Uh, I raided the, uh, the scrap bin. Apparently I've got some Christmas fabric in there. Nice. Uh, and I just wanted to show you just very quickly how to do these. So first things first, with my fabric, I'm just going to... Oh, look, I even... This is how organized I was this morning. I even sharpened the blade on my rotary cutter. I did, yeah. Uh, blade sharpeners on the website, it's a very handy little thing. So, um, what I'm gonna start off doing is cutting myself a four and a half inch strip. That's what it's asking for. So this part of the ruler, this portion of the ruler here is gonna, whoops, there we go, is gonna give me my four and a half inch strip. Although, by cutting two different fabrics. So what I will end up doing is using this as a guide to cut. And you're going to end up with two strips that you will then sew together. And you'll see that line there, that will be your joining line. So for me today, actually, have I got, have I got one of the big rulers? Where did the big rulers go? Could I just have a long, a long rectangular ruler, please? Because I won't, I won't sew them together. One of the, one of the big ones. They were here. Our floor manager has been very efficient. As soon as I've done them, whoosh, that's it. They've been whipped away. Oh, I can hear some clanking. He's finding something. Or I'll just, hang on, I'll just measure it. Oh, one centimetres. Here we go. Oh, thank you. See, this is where it's great to have all your rulers out and about. So I'm going to cut four and a half inches, so I will go to the black side, which means that I can line up my four and a half inches there, I'm not having to try and look for, is that the half or is that... No, look, it's really easy. It's just lined up on my four and a half inch mark there. Fish, bash, bosh. There it is. Now, if you're going to use this ruler properly, not this one, the, the double strip ruler, then what you would do 
um, is have sewn two different fabrics together and have half and half so it's all going to look amazing so that you can do this with it. Okay, so you can see you've got your two different fabrics. I haven't done that. I just want to show you how to use this. So line it up. And look, you see, that's going to fit absolutely perfectly. And look, there are my dog ears. There's, I just line those up there. I'm going to line that along there. And you might be looking at this thinking, why have you got holes in there? Looks like a mouse has been eating cheese. No, it's not. It's really simple, you see, because that means that when I cut into there, my rotary cutter blade goes into there and I've cut through there. I'm just going to spin this down to there. And then if you do have a rotating cutting mat, obviously that is preferable right now. But let me just line that up. And then all you do is cut. And cut. And cut. And cut. Oh, hang on. It would help if I actually... There you go. Now, you see, actually, look, I, I should have gone in with a bit more pressure in there. But, there we go, oh, I've got, not got long, you see, I'm rushing these things, don't rush these things. Uh, but there you go, you would just cut along there, cut, 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 there you go. And there it gives you perfect ones. Now, you see, then you'd have two different sizes, and you would just, if I do them like that, and there they go. So you can, you can do them just in one, or you can do them. And then you see when you sew them together, look, you see because that dog is not on there, can you just see that's showing me exactly where I'm going to start sewing, which is just brilliant. Now, the kaleidoscope ruler, this one, the 45-degree kaleidoscope, and that's basically the premise of all these different rulers. So let me show you this one here. And look at the things you can do with this. It's just brilliant. So here you've got your four and a half inch strip. You cut your four and a half inch strips. Again, you know, you can, you can do them so that you've got um, different, different colors going on. That's how you get that design. Full instructions with these every single time. But you've got a little strip ruler there, $24.99, and then your peaks to just cut, 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 done. Really easy. Now, the 90 degree double strip. Let me show you that one. Where is that? Uh, 90 degree, hang on. The, this one, that's a, oh, that's the tumbler. That's got, I've got so many. Triangles with long bottoms, same to you, producer. There you go. There we go, a triangle with a long bottom. That's what I'm apparently looking for. This is your four and a half inch, 90 degree double strip ruler. So each time you're gonna cut, dunk, 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 and you're going one, two, three with each time. But look at all these things that you can do. Multiple uses, it's just brilliant. Now, if you want to get that one, that one, and that one, have we bundled those, producer Hannah? We only have, haven't we? If you would like all three of those, then look, saving £12. That is brilliant. Here they all are, one, two, three, and you can get those for $64.48. We've only bundled these for birthday week, by the way. If you've been watching for the last year, then you'll know we don't bundle and discount like this. We, we just don't. It's not what we do. It's just to celebrate birthday. So if you are after doing all these different types of quilts and you're, you're really building up your collection, this is a great way to do it with a saving of £12. Everybody loves a saving. Now, our other bundles with savings, because let's show you these. You've got your double strip tumbler, love these, and your single strip tumbler. Oh, have I, you've got them. Oh, here they are. So these are your, your tumblers. Where's my blue? Here we go. Then you can see them a bit better, can't you? Uh, so if you're after these two, no? I've got a non-slip tumbler strip. And then, where's my other tumbler? Oh, that big one, this one here, sorry. Here we go. So if you want to have these two, so you've got your different size tumblers to do, and this is the effect that you can be making. And again, if you want to cut, because you've got your little strip uh, cutting ruler there, you can do them in lots of different colors, or you can just do them as one big thing. 
It's great, whatever you want to do it. These will give you just a, an instant, yep, yeah, that's the design I want to do. So if you want the four and a half inch strip tumbler, double strip, or the two and a half inch strip ruler, here, this is going to be just one colour. You can do it too, it's up to you. 39.48, OJGC88. If you want both of those, we've bundled them, saving £6.50. Yes, please. Yes, I love those ones, actually. They're really easy to cut. Now, the 90 degree single strip, was that the one that I grabbed here? No, that's 45 degree. I've got 45 degree and a, oh, here we go. Happy days. This is our last bundle, because we wanted you to, uh, you know, get a good chance to get everything this morning. And we're gonna go and have a look at So Special in just one moment. But if you're after these, and we do, we have some people message in there like, I've got 14 or 15 and I've just bought another couple. Uh, that's the way to do it, you know, and especially when there's, on a, when there's a nice discount on there. Yes, please. So today you can save, I don't know, with not enough space on there. I would imagine six pounds. Yes, six pounds, there we go. OLGC 77, if you wanna save six pounds, this is the day to do it. Uh, 35.98, instead of nearly 42 pounds. So here we go. That's what you're getting. Excellent. And again, full instructions. So I know I haven't had a chance to go through all of these and show you how they all work. But honestly, they are super, super easy. Now, I think what we've seen, the star of the shows today have also been the ruler racks. This is your small one. This is $6.99. And again, we managed to rush through an order. Thank you for our suppliers for managing to get these. So uh, there you go. If you're after that one, then that is your small one, and that is $6.99 for that one. R-A-G-Q-64. Now, the larger one, brilliant for uh, things like this, and your larger squares, perfect. Um, and that's $9.99. This is going to be the one that I'm going to end up getting. I know it is. Um, and if you've got your things like your Stripology or your 16 and a half, 20 and a half inch rulers, that's the one to get. $9.99, look after your rulers, you've made an investment, you want them to last forever, and for just $9.99 you can keep them nice and safe and stacked beautifully. Now, I promised you, da -da 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 -da, that was a miss, uh, that was kind of a mixture between a fanfare and a drum roll. Uh, for our so special, hooray! Now, this is what you've been waiting for so far this morning. I know it's going to be really, really popular. We can't always do bundles like this. This is a lot of cutting, and we're quite limited um, in our warehouse for, for you know, people that cut. We have to get extra people in to cut when we bring something like this because uh, we do cut all of our own fabrics in-house. But if you are after this and look at all of these, then a metre and a half of it, so that's effectively that for free, if you fancy get, well, you know, it could be any of the color combinations, but if you get fancy getting three half meters for free, look at that for your stash. Yes, yes, yes. You are getting 12 meters of fabrics. That is 24 half meters of fabric and a meter and a half of that is coming to you for free. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And if you want to, and every time that we've done this, and we've done this today for birthday, if you would like to get this today, then you absolutely can. It does send our warehouse into meltdown, so that it might take slightly longer to get to you just because they've got a lot of cutting to do, but it will be winging its way to you. Then this is what you can get for 68. That's a fabulous price. 68.25 to cut all of these, have these sent to you, half meters, all on the way. Uh, shall I show you how much that is? I love this orange. You know, so you will get that amount of each fabric, okay? So salvage to salvage, we're looking at 44 inches salvage to salvage. That's that side to that side. And that is your half meter. So you will get that in each of those fabrics. So when you get a beautiful fabric that you absolutely love and you want to make the most of it. So maybe with some of the designer fabrics, you go, oh yeah, but you know, I just need something that's going to contrast and line. It's brilliant for that. Or if you just want to do anything with a rainbow fabric base, you've got it. You've got all the colors ready to go. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I love it. There you go. They're quilting weight. 
if you've ever bought any of our bundles with a plane in, this will have been the plane. So you're already used to the quality of it. You know it's great. You know it's a lovely quilting weight, easy to use. Every time we do a bundle like this, it just goes. It just sells out. It's so, so popular. And today we've put a discount on it. So you're getting £9.75 off, or another way of saying that is a metre and a half of fabric, three of these for free. Look at the colours. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So the colours, just gorgeous. You've got, um, you've got blues and greens for spring to match through. You've got Christmassy colours in there. You've got some neutrals in there. You've got, well, you've got everything, haven't you? You have all the colours. Maybe you're going to do a Bargello with it. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but what I would say is, you know, just whatever fabric, you've got it. You've got something that's going to contrast nicely or complement however you want to work it. It's all there. Now, if everybody checks out the basket, already half of this is gone. I did tell you it was going to be popular this morning. Yesterday, so special, is already sold out. Uh, hundreds of you went for that. What was it yesterday? Oh, it was the lamp. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. If you want this, we can't do bundles like this every single day. There are 24 half meters of fabric in this. It takes our warehouse so, so much effort to cut all of these. Um, should I just pile it all up? Should I do that? So let's have a look what we're actually getting in here. So when it comes to you, it's just, so you've got your purples, lots of different tones here. So say, you know, you've got your Tilda fabrics, if you're like me and you love your Tildas, then that's going to work beautifully. These are kind of, I like to think of these as your Tilda tones. Um, and they come through here. Oh, you see, even if you just get in, it just sits on the side, all bundled up beautifully, looking gorgeous. Then, um, oh yeah. Well done if you've got yours. Still loads of you coming in for this. I don't blame you. Now, there are now less than 20 of these left. So if you have got this in your basket, please check out your baskets. I know you wouldn't want to cut into it. It's just stunning, isn't it? But if you do have it, do cut into it. Do enjoy it. And there's your brown on top there. That is what you are getting for 68.25 with £9.75 saving. Metre and a half coming to you for free. And that's a whopping 12 metres of fabric, 24 half metres of fabric in there. That is incredibly satisfying. Okay, lesson 20. Please make sure you check out your baskets and get these. What a great, so special to have today. Now, of course, join me after the break. Lucy is back with that beautiful bay you've all been admiring. See you in a moment. We're celebrating our birthday this week with eight amazing competitions. And all you have to do for a chance to win is shop with us at Sewing Quarter. When you make your next purchase at Sewing Quarter from Wednesday the 31st of January until the 7th of February, you'll automatically be entered into our daily prize draw. The amazing prizes change every day and include stunning fat quarters, patterns, books, storage bags and tools. And that's not all. We're finishing the birthday week with a mega bundle of goodies to be won worth over £700. Everyone who has shopped with us and spent over £30 during our special birthday week will be entered into a draw to win a final prize. An Elna Lotus sewing machine plus reams of fabric, prim accessories, storage and so much more. So join us for the celebration from Wednesday the 31st of January on Sewing Quarter and be in with a chance to win. Good luck! <laughs> Happy birthday Sewing Quarter. Thank you to everybody for your support over the past year. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Happy birthday to the sewing quarter. 
Thank you to all our lovely viewers for your love and support. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Happy birthday, Sewing Quarter, the first of many. Thanks so much for tuning in over the last 12 months. Join us on Wednesday the 7th of February when we're thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family with her debut show. Tula Pink's fabric designs are inspired by her love of animals and nature and she enjoys hiding animal characters in unusual places in her illustrations. Her bold use of colour and patterns makes her fabrics a joy to quilt and sew with. Tula also has her own range of tools to add a special touch to your workroom. Her biggest fans include our own designers Lucy Brennan and Joe Carter. Like many people around the world, they're inspired by her gorgeous fabrics, so we can't wait to reveal these exciting prints and accessories. So join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday the 7th of February. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Welcome back uh, to Seven Quarter with Lucy Brennan. Hello. Hi. Hello. And me as well. I'm here. Uh, now, you're not getting this back. You know, I don't know. You? I know. It's a jingly bell in it. It was hard something. to even bring it, tear it away from my children because they absolutely loved it. Now, do you want to have a close look at this? Look at this. I don't know what it is, but it's brilliant. It's from the Art House <laughs> Gallery collection. This is a brand new called Nest. It's from their Nest collection. Look at the bear. He needs a squeaky nose. And then look. Oh. You don't need loads of different fabrics. Normally, oh, look at the bears. Mm -hmm. Normally, I'd be looking at it and thinking, well, is that a half metre of each of those different fabrics? Three little cats. Uh, I've got some bears. I've got, what else have I got? Oh, and there. There is no idea to what those are. Oh, isn't it brilliant? I know, it's so lovely. And the colours are beautiful. They are such a lovely muted tone. It's yeah. just it's just beautiful. So whether you're making for a little boy, a little girl, doesn't matter. No. Nope. Perfect. Perfect. Now you might be thinking, but Natasha, do I need a half a metre of each? No, 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 no. This is the first time I've seen this with Art Gallery. I'm sure they've done it before, but we haven't had them. Look at this. Beautiful. I feel like it's a big reveal. <laughs> um Okay, I'm going to pop this down onto here. This will probably send our cameras into meltdown because it's bright, bright white. But look, it comes in a panel. They're all there. They are all there. Is that not just the most beautiful thing you've seen? Isn't it gorgeous? Now, uh, you can use this, you could just do that as the quilt. Then you could just quilt into it. Or, it's just, just entirely up to you. I want to make a bag with them. Do you? Yeah, I think it would be for, for myself, not for a child. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to explain yourself. Just for me. Just uh, the three bears. I love this bed. Look at him. Now you'll get this panel. This is like a blue one. This is a pinky one. There's greys in. Oh, look, the bears have got different coloured ties on. Oh, no. It is just glorious. I, I have to say, uh, beyond cute. Yeah, really, absolutely adorable. The fonts are lovely. The fonts are really nice, really on trend. There's um, uh, sort of geometric, nods to geometric in there as well with those uh, three bears. Oh, Lucy, we are five minutes into the show and half of this stock has already uh, been put into baskets. I'm not at all surprised. Look at the price, it's 13.99. Now. Um, I, I have did a little bit of research on art gallery fabrics because there's not a lot actually out there when you look on the internet. So I went to them and I said, look, can you tell me why your fabrics are so special? What is it that is so special about them? Mm -hmm. And um, Pat 
Bravo, one of the founders, firstly has one of the best names I've ever heard of. But secondly, um, that's not why you should buy Art Gallery Fabric, what you can if you like, but not because she has a great name. Um, it's because <laughs> what she insists on is um, a very high quality substrate. I don't know what that was. That's the base fabric. Um, and what she wants with these is to have a lovely drape of super, super soft base fabric substrate, which means it is incredibly soft. It means that the dye doesn't bleed because it's just so soft and beautifully woven. It's a gorgeous quality. And not only is this a gorgeous quilting weight, but because the drape is so soft, it's perfect if you want to dress make with it. Not with this, maybe with some of the other fabrics. Um, but the first thing that you said about this was how soft it was to wear. Yeah, was it's it? incredibly, incredibly soft. It, it's, uh, you know, it is comparative to like a Tarna Lord. It has that finish, that feeling to it. Um, but it is a quilting cotton and you can use it for dressmaking. You know, there are lots of different things that you can do there. I actually have just remembered I met Pat Bravo and how went to a, a I like know that. that's terrible. Brilliant. Um, and, and went to a talk that she gave about Art Gallery Fabrics in Birmingham some years ago. Really? And I've used Art Gallery Fabrics for a long time. Um, but she came, you know, came from a, a designing background. She produces patterns. She started um, selling her own fabric that she was having made. And that's sort of how, you know, what led to Art Gallery Fabrics. And their fabrics. tagline is, is kind of feel the difference, yeah. isn't it? In every metre, feel the difference. And it does feel different. You know, it does. It, you know, if I'm going through my stash, I know which ones are Art Gallery Fabrics just from the feel of them. Because no. they're so beautiful. They it's are beautiful. really high quality. That is, um, that's going to sell out. So if you've got that in your basket, please check out your basket. But we've got two other panels. Um, look at, uh, look, this, is, this is the next panel. I really love the fact he's kind of been peeping over your shoulder. I know. <laughs> but there fair. he is with his blue bow. Um, I think, I think that gorgeous. one's great. I think, is it grey? It's kind of a bluey grey. Yeah. But look, 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 look. This is the panel. This is the panel. So actually, all you've done is add borders and stuff around. Right? Yeah, all I've done, very, very simple. I've just added two strips to the top and the bottom because obviously that's the width of the fabric. Right. But it's not quite long enough for a quilt i mean you could just have it just the panel if you wanted it as like a play mat or something decorative um, but for a quilt you want to add a little bit more um, so I've used um, dots and the lovely paw print um, one, which will come But through. you see, that's the really lovely thing, isn't it? Because you can then add in different colours. So if you wanted to have that as the, the main event in the middle there, and then you could add in, say you know the flavour of the mm -hmm. baby that you're making for, then you could add in, you know, colour colour appropriate, yeah. but also perfect for every level of quilter. So if you are new for quilting, then just put your, your wadding in and a backing and, and quilt done edge bind done and, and that can be it mm -hmm. and that is absolutely perfect or if you just need a quick mate because you know the babies come a bit earlier than you thought yep. they do that they do. um my friend george's twins came five month, uh, five weeks early oh. she hadn't she hadn't got anything yeah nothing no. she, i didn't have anything no clothes <laughs> oh. um and so that took her by surprise. But you see, look, you see, you can you can do that, or you can add stuff in, or you could just cut him out, add bit. It's entirely up to you. Or maybe if you've got the westerly rulers, then you might want to make a big fuss about the quilting yep. and make that. Absolutely, there's loads of space there to do quilting. The other thing you could do is add some applique. So you could take this other panel, cut sections of this out, applique them on nice. if you wanted it to be, you know, a bit busier. Um, but it's it's so lovely because it's neutral and you really. You know, it could be for either gender. It doesn't really oh, doesn't it's matter. Beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Hey. And it's got a lovely modern feel to it as well. You see, you say modern, I say timeless. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't see this dating, I think, because it's just got such a beautiful... And I think this is going to be one that stays with you forever. Producer yeah. Hannah's saying that she would get a... She'd do a bit of embroidery. She'd, you know... Name, date. Oh, that'd be lovely. Not the, just like her name or date, like the baby. <laughs> well, she could Although, if she actually, I know, she does like to just type her name out. We saw at the start of the show, just Hannah McCain. Um, but there it is. So you can, you do have, I mean, you could, you don't have to necessarily, um, you know, embroider in a separate panel. No. You've got space in here. You know, you could, you could almost do in a heart, couldn't you? you could, if you're getting really fancy, you could embroider in a heart... The name, the date. Oh, now I wish I quilted a heart on it. Well, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I'll have to make another one. <laughs> yes, yes, you will. But yes. it's nice, like you say, because 
um, with that geometric, it's got the stripes and the dots, and those are classic, of course, aren't yes. they? So you can really mix it in with anything else. Well done if you got the first panel, by the way. That's gong. That's gong. Gong. Oh, I'm going to be taunting you all as I use it to make things. Well, you know. Sorry. If you've got it, then well done. But that's, you know, fastest finger wins this morning. Absolutely. Lucy, you may look away. I know, I need to explain. Lucy <laughs> has a slightly rational fear issue. Why do you have a rational fear? I was chased fear? as a child. Twice. Or by a lamb? Twice. No, by sheep. Well, by the sheep. first one might have been a lamb, but then it was sheep. You know they don't bite, then. Oh. You know they're, like, they're absolutely fine. I don't know. Tw twice, not just once. I mean, they really. They do might not you. bite you. They bite me. No, they don't. No, they haven't. That's just. I've a... always, I've always had bottle-fed lambs. See, I grew up on a sheep farm. Oh. My best friend's oh, family please, had a sheep farm. Oh, please, can we not talk farm. about it? I can't think of anything worse. And, and it's, so we always lambing everything else. Always there, shearing. Great. <laughs> but look, great for Easter as well. But look, those. Face, those faces see, are so cute. I mean, a sheep with eyelashes like that, I, I couldn't possibly be afraid. Oh, well, Georgina in Warwickshire, she says, uh, Hi, Tash, my daughter also has a fear, but of cows. So Lucy is not alone. Great show. I'm getting more rulers. Oh, yes, do that. Well done. Do that. Well done, Georgina. Um, I, I just love it. And look, you see, you could, you could quilt wibbly wobbly all the way around. You could, yeah. In all your Easter colours. <laughs> or you could get, if you manage to get the spools with 60 spools and you've got a rainbow of colours, you could, you could quilt a rainbow. Nice. I can quilt a rainbow. And I love the designs down the edge of this one as well. Yeah, you've They're got really chevron. nice and the bow That's ties. That's going to do weird things to the camera. But just... And yeah. then, oh, you've got your little bow ties? Yes, over there. so cute. Oh. You could put little bow ties on the sheep, couldn't you? Now, this, sorry? You could put little bow ties oh, on the sheep. Oh, you could? Oh, you could? I well, don't know why a sheep would have a bow tie, but, you know, just for fun. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I used to teach my little sheep to jump my little lambs. Mac and oh. cheese were my last lambs. <laughs> yeah, mac and cheese. They were good oh. fun. Um, oh, it hasn't come through, but you tell me. Oh, but you, uh, Sarah says, uh, hi, hi, Natasha and Lucy. Hello. <laughs> what else does she say? <laughs> No, it's not here. She, she just says her. hi. She hi. Just says hi, hi. <laughs> uh, she said, love, she loves what? Oh, loving the fabric. Oh, it's great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Just ordered these to make a quilt and toys. For her you... first grandchild. Oh, oh that's due in April. Lovely. Oh, exciting oh, times. Lovely. Do you know what it's going to be? <laughs> it doesn't matter with these, though, does it? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. I love this. If you haven't used them before, when you get them and feel them, you'll understand what we're talking about. They're, they're, they're so smooth. They're just, but not slippy. It's not slippy at all. No, it's not a slippy smooth. No, it's, it's, just it's soft definitely smooth. cotton, yes. you know, but, it, but they are really, really beautiful, beautiful quality. Do you know what I'm thinking? Not about sheep. Thinking. No, no, no. I'm thinking odour coat it and you could make a changing <gasps> yes. mat out of it. Oh, yeah. Brilliant idea. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the last of your panels. Uh, now, there you go. The sheep are Bye, gone. sheep. <laughs> I breathed, Lucy. You did very well. Very Thank you. Well pause. Pause. I love the name of this. can't remember what it is. Something like, uh, it's Curious Pause. I was going to call it Bimbling Bear. Oh. But um, this is by the half metre. <laughs> but look, you've just basically got random paws. This was like me this morning in the snow. Snow, what's that all about? Oh, so I know. this isn't in a panel like the others. This is, you can get as much of this as you want. By the half meter, 7.99 by the half meter. This might be your backing. And I know, that, yeah, absolutely this could be your backing. And this might sound a little bit odd, but I see this I see as you. like a blender, you know, just like a neutral stash builder blender yeah. because it's black and white. It will go with lots of things. And Bears. But, but especially when you're quilting, it doesn't have to be that it's something animal themed necessarily. Or, you know, I might cut pieces up, um, of this up and use it in English paper piecing. Yeah. It just adds, a you know, a different touch, something fun. A bear paw block would be lovely with it. Oh. It's just it's just delightful. Curious paws or bimbling bear, as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's called Curious Paws. But seven ninety nine, and and that's what you're paying for. You're paying for this um, this really great quality substrate, that base fabric, which is such a soft, soft fabric, has a beautiful drape. 
So if you did want to make a, a dress or something for a little yep. one out of this, then you could. Yeah. Because it's got that bit. Look, see, beautiful coat. Ah, softness. I have gorgeousness. Pat Bravo fabrics, art gallery fabrics, cut up, ready to be made into dresses for my girls that I probably cut out about four years ago. They might have grown. <laughs> I think they might have grown, but luckily I have a niece, so she might get them in. Oh, them. really? Yeah. Yeah, well, but this is this whole collection is um, art gallery studio, so it's designed in house, right? And they are really one to watch in terms of um, trends and you know what's current, and they produce you know gorgeous collections like this. No, you see, I'm glad that you said that because I'm not a trendy person. I just know what I like, sure. and I don't really care if it's on trend no. or not. No. But if you are trendy then you're on trend with this. You're on trend. Yeah, there you go. Now, this, again, this isn't a panel. This is by the half metre. So, again, this could be the back of your quilt. This could be a strip. It could be whatever. But it's cute bears, and this is your care bears. And it says cute all over it, and it's all so over. cute. And I it's would true. buy metres and make myself some pyjamas if, <gasps> if I yes! knew how to do it. <laughs> I might we can get, help you with that. I might get Jennifer to do it for me. Oh, she would. <laughs> She'd do that. It's so <gasps> cute. So cute. This They will make beautiful pyjamas. Yes. Or bedding, you know, bedding, yes. pillowcases. Yes. Yes. Things like yes. that. Absolutely adorable. My Shit. kids have pillowcases that I made with art gallery fabric. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's, That's a coincidence. I didn't even, that hadn't occurred to me, but yeah, they do. Because it's that softness. It's so soft. It's it. lovely. Let it be soft. Yeah. I should make some for myself. I don't know why I give every, every all the good things to my children. Because that's what mothers, that's well, what yes, we do. That is what we do. And then we feel guilty gonna, if we I'm buy anything to make for ourselves. Some for myself. Yeah. Um, so I would, I'm with you, pyjamas. Yeah, pyjamas be fabulous. Yes. Even a, like a little summer dress would be adorable. Oh, seriously cute. Bloomers. Shorts, that's just what I was thinking. Bloomers, <gasps> baby bloomers. bloomers. Oh. How many of you out there are about to be grandparents? Come on, message in. All parents. All parents. You know, are you, you know, how soon until you're going to be a yummy mummy? <sighs> Look at it, it's just gorgeous. Or if you just like bears. Susanna says, don't leave me out, I'm not having kids. No, but no, I like that's bears. true. Yeah, I like bears too. You know. And I like this, this print as well because it's uh, non-directional, so it's really easy to use. So if you're new to dressmaking or new to quilting, you don't, don't have to think it. about it, yeah. Don't worry about it, great. just cut into it and have a good fun. Yeah. And you've got, you've got those lovely muted colours in there as well. Just, go on, get it. <laughs> that could be the back just of your quilt. <laughs> just get it. Just <laughs> get off me there. I can't help it. Well, I know. Careful or I'll get the sheet back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right then, I'll behave. Oh, oh now. One more art gallery fabric. Love this. Yeah, this is a blender. Um, so this is uh, squared, which is one of their elements. So they have different elements that are all sort of um, stash builders and blenders that will go with, with everything, with lots of different projects. And obviously the colour of this one matches in with the nest um, collection. You see, I'm thinking a little summer dress. Yeah, little beautiful. Cute, little cute summer dress, beautiful. And it's nice because it, it, it almost, you know, it adds texture to projects because it's got those different size squares on it. Yes. So that's really useful in, in patchwork. And so also, everything's not flat. They're not perfect squares. So if you, if you, I know you are like the perfect stitcher and the look you gave John <laughs> when we came off air after doing the challenge and you went, his stitching wasn't straight and you were really upset by it and it was hilarious. Uh, and, and the camera had already that cut so you didn't true. get to see it. It was, your face was like, this he didn't so straight um, <laughs> but it doesn't matter with this no which is and, and i'm still at that stage where sometimes i amble yeah and you that's know. fine you know, of course it's fine i just won't show you <laughs> <laughs> no no i have but no judgment whatsoever you just like it straight well i like it straight yeah. but the, so on. but this it you know it's got that more organic feel to it so you're absolutely it fine. does there's a and soft there's a yes, softness there so it. it is a obviously it's a geometric shape but it's not harsh yes it's not those straight lines. And that goes across the board with all of these prints and all of these fabrics, that there is that gentleness to them. There's nothing harsh about them. 
They're really, really beautiful. Almost like a sketchy, not with that particular one, but you know, a sketchy kind of a quality to it, which and is lovely. Look at the drape. If you're if you're making anything out of this to wear, it's gonna be beautiful. Uh, now that is the collection. That's as much of the Nest collection as we've got for you today. Yeah. Yeah. Now, can I just say as well, this pink is beautiful because it's not like a. A, a baby, baby pink. It's not a sicky pink. No, is there's it? almost a like a bit one. of peach to it, a bit of sand, something. It's really, really beautiful. You can mix your neutrals through yes. very comfortably yeah, with definitely. that. Yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Now, um, we've also got some um, of our just our planes mm -hmm. for you. Which are we going to run through that now? Oh, they're, they're, okay, so they're underneath. You know on the website where you watch us live and then you can message in and then underneath there is like the whole shopping list. We've picked out some of our plain Macauers. They're what, 3.25 per half a metre, which we think go really beautifully. Um, and, and we've also got some spot on in there. So um, various in there. We've got some of our planes, some textures, all sorts. Do take a look at those because we've picked those out. We're not going to go through them now because you can see them on the website. You know that when we pick them out, the colours are going to go. I you know, like, there's like some the linear spot on in, in there. there. Well, there's some linear, yeah. some texture. There's some planes, there's some spots. There's all sorts. So if you want to do, like Lucy's done here, a, a strip of colour in there, then you've you've got that. Yeah, because it can be hard to colour match, you yeah, know, when, you, when you're not seeing the things in real life. Yeah. But I've seen the ones that they've matched and they do all match beautifully. Yes. So yes. that'll all work really nicely. Now, we're going to make this. Yay! Um, unfortunately, the panel's sold out. So, you know, but you can mix and match with the others. Yeah, you, you could absolutely make this not from the panel. Do you know yes. what I mean? So like the cute little bears mixed with the squares, mixed with something else, you know, you'd still get, you'd still get a beautiful cube love, from love, it. Love. Yeah. So we uh, need a pattern for this. Yes. We've got that. Look, we've got it here. Here we are. And not just one pattern. Many patterns. Many. Many patterns. So loads of ideas. You could, in fact, kit out your baby's room with this. So you've got a quilt, you've got a tidy. Messy. Kids come with so much stuff. Well, they don't come with it. I mean, you end up buying it. Yeah, they don't come with it, it, but you do buy it yeah, all. Yeah, <laughs> pretty soon you do. Um, so on the back here, let me just show you. You've got your um, your quilt. You've got your hangy uppy bit. You see, I put I do like, hangy uppy bit. Yeah, no, it's very descriptive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've lost yeah. my words. I left them somewhere. <laughs> um, and so all these different things. And look, you've got your little squares, and then look there, that's what we're making. Nice. So lots of options. You could kit out the whole baby room there, couldn't you? Yes. Yeah. So if you have managed to get the panel, grab a few other fabrics, pop them in as well, and then you could make the whole. You could do a whole bedroom suite yeah, for the baby. Yeah, all coordinating. Lovely. Dream of coordination. I know, me too. One day when Doesn't I grow up happen. and I'm organised, <laughs> things will coordinate. That's what I keep thinking. I don't know how much older I can get before I do it, but hey ho. Look at the cube. This is what you can make with the pattern. So if you've managed to get the panel, fabulous, well done. But of course, you can make this out of other uh, fabrics. You just need to get uh, the pattern. Yes. Lucy, where do I start? You start at with cutting out the pattern. Okay. So you've got two pattern pieces. Um, I mean, very, very simple. And um, there's lots of pattern pieces come with the pattern. Um, and you've got all the instructions for the different uh, projects. And it's step by step with illustrations. And it's very, very easy to follow. So you're going to cut out your pieces. And um, I did cut out the pattern pieces and then realised I could just use my ruler to cut out some squares. So being completely <laughs> honest, that is what I did. I just cut, but I had the, you know, I knew they were the knew, right size yeah, from the pattern. They, they so I just measured the pattern and then I used my ruler to cut out the squares. Nice. Um, do I need to wad this? What do I do? How okay, do I... Um, there are a couple of different options. In the pattern, it recommends using fusible fleece. Oh, okay. I have not. And what I've done is use the um, wadding. <laughs> is he trying to steal them? I don't know. No. I don't know. Floor manager Wayne was just the, the hand. Creeping in. Was creeping. I think he's going to steal them. So I've Cheeky. used some of the um, polyester wadding because that's got a really nice loft to it. So it just gives that bit more bounce. Fusible fleece is great. I use it all the time. You can use that as an option as well. It depends that's how sort of... 
Yes. I mean, the fusible fleece is easier in a way because it's iron on, so oh, okay. you don't need to, to really think about it. So if you're not a quilter, that might be a good uh, option to go for because you don't need to worry about the wadding and it won't move around or anything. But that is beautiful. Yeah. So, so, I, so I went with just the wadding because it just gives it that, that just little bit more loft to make it... Um, a wee bit squishier. Um, so, if you're after the pattern, in order to make this, that's eight ninety nine. And you see, look, just grab some of our wadding. It's all good. It's all on the website. It, the choice is then yours. Yep. Yeah. So you need six. Okay. Obviously, for a cube. Yeah. Um. So six squares, and then you can either layer them up and make little sort of quilt sandwiches, um, or you. Um, fuse the fusible fleece um, to one side. If you're using fusible fleece, you don't really need a backing. Right. You can just use the, um, you know, fleecy yeah. side. Um, but but really, if you're if you're going to quilt it or do any stitching on your machine, you should have something on the other side just to protect your machine from lint and, and things Jennifer like that. Jennifer Taylor is, is on a quest to get everyone to clean their machine and yes. she's got a thing of show us your fluff or something. Yes, that's and, brilliant. Uh, and it is shameful how much fluff there is in my machine. So she's, yeah, she's got me to clean out my machine. Yeah. Hands up. I Pipe was... cleaner, that's the best thing. Oh, is it? Yeah, fold a pipe cleaner in half and use that to run through your machine. Just I learned that on a home, retreat. Uh, vacuum. <laughs> Done. Well, you could do that also. <laughs> Uh, no, this is also lovely. If you are new to quilting, what a great little project just to start you off because it's little manageable pieces. Off yes. Go. So I've just, I've accidentally pulled one off there. So I've just layered them up. If you wanted to baste them, you can. So um, if you're doing hand sewing, you could thread baste or you could use a bit of the spray glue or something yeah. if you want to do that or pin. Um, I'm slightly rebel, so I just sort of wing it Lucy and don't Brennan. always bother. Um, but, you know, if you're wanting to be really accurate, you're that is what you should do. Pro. I'm just a rebel. Um, so then you can sort of embellish them and decorate them to your heart's content. So um, in whatever way you want to do. So you don't need to quilt them. If you're not going to quilt them, you want to use the fusible fleece because that, okay. you've got yeah. nothing securing it if you're using wadding. Producer Anna is just going to pop through the fusible fleece for you. There it is by the meter. That's our Visaline H640 um, and that's 9.99. That is our designer's fusible fleece of choice. When we first started the channel and we didn't have that in stock, there was a, a lot of requests that, for Yeah, it. a lot. Now we've got it. Happy and days. that's the one thing that I always seem to need. That's probably the thing out of everything that I order over and over and over again because I can't get enough of it. I use it on all my small projects, bags, cushions, everything because it's so easy to use. Do you know a lot of you at home, I know that a lot of you multi-buy because yeah. it's just sensible when you see it. It's difficult for us to keep in stock, you know, because yeah. it goes so quickly. So 9 99 you'll get a meter piece. If you want more than that, just pop a couple more in your basket. Yeah. Go for your life. It's fabulous. Um, Right, what do we do now? So um, I'm going to start sort of embellishing. So all I've just started doing is um, just going around the outside. So I'm just doing like a basting stitch just to hold it in place so that then whatever I do, it's not going to shift okay. um, too much. Have you elongated your stitch length then for basting? Um, just slightly, yes. I've just gone to a, to a three, but you can do a, a longer one uh, if you want um, to. Lucy, could you tell us if have a walking foot because that means you can't do it? No, you can do it without a walking foot. Um, I would, again, recommend the fusible fleece if that was the case, because that's not going to shift in the right. same way that wadding would. Yeah. Um, so despite the fact I've used wadding, don't do <laughs> You probably are better with the fusible fleece, really, um, unless you really do want that puff, puffy but it look. Does, you see, this is it. Because you've done this here, and it is super, super soft and squidgy, it's whatever finish you want. Yeah. <gasps> Him. And the fusible fleece will give it just a tiny bit more structure as well. It will make it slightly more cubish. That's not a word. Well, you know, you know, we can go, we can go yeah. that cuby. And so I've used um, uh, ribbon and um, pom pom trim um, to embellish it. So I've put them on the sides. We'll do that as we're building up the cube. But I've also, if we can find one here. And put it actually onto the panel itself. Nice. So you need to do that at this 
stage. Do you know what's so lovely about this, actually? Is it's, it's lovely and light. You're not going to hurt anybody no. throwing that around the place. No. And also, um, the beauty of it is, is that contrast, that black and white contrast, because, of yes. course, little ones, that's what they see for yes. the first however many weeks, is that black and white, any sort of contrast, and they're like, oh, yeah. yeah. That's what but they But I think see. this is great for toddlers as well. I mean, if it... You know, for a baby, I think it's really a nice decorative thing because obviously it's quite big. Yeah. The baby's probably the same size as the cube. <laughs> it did, well. yeah. But for a toddler, but my five year old was just going crazy. She just absolutely loved it. She was reading the words, you know, Aww. it's lovely. So I think it's not just babies, it's children. Um, well, my four year old likes to throw things, you know, mm -hmm. and so it, that would be fine because that's not going to break windows no. or anything else. No. Yes. So you threw it to me. I had a message Good once job from I someone it. who said, why do you let him throw things in the house? Why don't you just say throw things outside? Because like, I've got a 12 stone Great Dane who also likes to have <laughs> things thrown for them. Aww. And, uh, and you know, collisions occur. Yeah. So it's safer inside with soft things. Yeah. True. Okay. Could I get some of the pom-pom? Should we do the grey yeah, one? Yeah, let's go pom-pom crazy. Oh, I've got... Well, never mind. I've got white thread, but it doesn't matter. So um, what I like to do is I'll cut this just slightly longer than I need it to be. Okay, and then, have you got any scissors, Tash? I don't have any scissors. Uh, no. What I'll do is just <laughs> trim off the pom-poms that are either, you know, right on the edge, but also thinking about you've got half inch seam allowance. So even probably those two, I would just trim those off as well. And then your pom-poms are just gonna stay where you, where you want them to be. So I'm just going to use the rotary cutter and, and just carefully cut those off. I think that the scissors are on their oh, way. Oh, are they on their way? I might put Yeah, oh, there you that. go. I just heard the yeah. door. Lovely. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Susanna in Norfolk says, just got the, um, the Sir Bear panel for my stash, ready to make a bear quilt, oh. as my surname is Bear. How fabulous is that? Yes. Um, Susanna Brilliant. from Norfolk. Susanna Bear, <gasps> hang on, Lucy. Take just there it is. It's like Lucy just disappeared, just melted into the quilt. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Do check out on that panel as well. There was a message just a moment ago about the sheet panel, but I've, I've lost it. Oh, Polly said, "Morning, loving the sheet panel. I love the sheet panel too." She plans to, their own. to add an embroidery <laughs> to make a, uh, make a picture. Oh, lovely. They are really cute. They are really, really cute. And that's from That'll you, be really who nice. has a, a sheep fear. Yes. I yes. love well, Yeah. Okay, so just a little, little tip for working with pom-pom when you're doing it um, as a decorative element rather than, you know, putting it um, yes. in the seam, which is actually you probably would normally do. Um, when you're doing this, there are a couple of things you can do. You can pin, but it's slightly faffy. Okay. So I would glue baste this in place. If, if you wanted it to be oh, okay. in a particular spot, you know, you can even draw on a line of glue onto the fabric and then oh, stick, that's it, a good stick idea. it on. Um, however, having said that, I think there is something nice about keeping this quite fluid and organic. And so if they, you know, if it moves around it doesn't matter i don't need to sew it in a perfectly straight line because it still will look it's look, charming yeah. uh, yes you're so right there's a charm about this isn't there it is there is. it's beautiful 2.99 for your gray pom pom trim you're getting two meters of that we've got other colors for you as well we've got sort of a creamy color here it is do you know what what I really like about the pom-pom trim is actually that it comes on the nice wooden spool. So when I do my bindings, I, when I've run out of this, I just keep the, the wooden spools and wrap my binding on it. Uh, 2 dollars so double use, I'd say, double bubble there. But there you go, there's your, your cream pom-pom trim, 2 dollars for that. They're just really handy to have. So grey, cream, whatever you fancy. And then we've got various ribbons, which we'll look at later. But we've got a lot of those. So just, oh, you're sewing this on with your walking foot as well. Yes, I'm just using my walking foot because I'm still going through all of those layers. So as I'm sewing it, I'm just pushing the pom-poms down with my fingers. Right, okay. So they don't get, you know, caught as I'm um, going along. Lucy, do you need this pattern or shall I fold it away? Um, I might need to refer to it. But shall I just, I'll just keep it to yeah. one side. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. So there, so you can see that's not oh, straight. Oh, lovely. Intentionally not straight, but... 
um, it does look really nice. It gives it a really... It's ridiculously cute. A really pretty look. It is It's a bit like um, bear pom-pom. Uh, bear bear <laughs> um, binding. No, what am I saying? I'm trying to say... Uh, you um, have lost your words today. What's that? Bunting! Bunting. There you go. It begins yes. with a B. It is very, yes. very much like bunting. Yes. Well, that wasn't worth the effort. So you can go through, and on each different panel, I've done different things. So let's get the lovely bear face. So on some of them, I've just done straight lines. I didn't want to go over the words, so I just, um, yeah. you know, went through them. And then with the bear, um, I've outlined it, him, him. I love him. I know. And then I just went around the nose. So any area that you don't quilt will come forward. Yes. Okay? And then any area that you quilt will, you know, sort of recede so I wouldn't I wouldn't stitch on the features because right. that's going to make them go back okay but if you stitch just around then it's going to make the bear pop forward does that make sense yes yeah yes. and then I just outlined the outlined the nose to make that um go forward but you could easily add some little eyelashes or oh. you know some glasses or so you know you could have really a lot of fun with oh, you could have with a them monocle. With the bear. He so, could be monocle bear. He could be monocle bear. And with the cats and the, um, that one says close your eyes and make a wish, I use some of the decorative stitches nice. um, on the machine as well to just That's embellish that. That's a great idea. Bit. Different coloured threads. How often do we actually get the chance to really go crazy with some pretty stitching? Yeah, I, see, I've been, I've been using it a lot, using different stitches. And every time, you know, if I put something on social media, somebody says, Oh, I need to use the decorative stitches on my machine. And I'm like, yes, yes do. Yes, play you do. They're there. That's it's what you so bought your machine fun. with it to, to do, to use. Uh, yeah. Producer Hannah has come up with a great idea. She says she's got variegated thread. Yeah, beautiful. It would look really beautiful with variegated. So I'm going to choose a decorative stitch. Oh, yeah, go for it. What's your fancy? I might do, should I do it all? A wiggly one? Yeah, a wiggly one or a heart one or anything. They just take too long. Oh. <laughs> I've learned that. <laughs> We you don't love it that much. We have to pick a Come kind of quick one. Okay, go on then. So, and then with this, all I did was um, aim to go between the cats. Between the ears. But then it doesn't matter, you know, I could um, uh, move it. It doesn't have to be a straight line. And just have fun with it. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It might be like the cats are chasing the thread they do that they do they do oh yes they do or you could do little butterflies if you've got butterfly oh, things yeah, or hearts or, there's all sorts have a play oh oh go on i'm getting carried away as usual no, but they want to see what it looks like <laughs> show us show us there so you can i mean lucy's just dipped in between the ears there yeah as you do Suzy. Why not? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's nice. And it I just like creates it. a little bit of texture as well. So on each side, you've just got something a little bit different. It's extra detailing, yes. isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And you can add um, ribbons to it or whatever you wanted, really. I just think it's beautiful. It's, it's just the colours in it. Because there aren't many colours, it's mainly a black and white, but the hint of colour that there is, because that's actually a very, very, very pale grey blue. Ever so pale. It's yeah. like just a it's like a tint, isn't it? It's yeah. like a, a, just a tint of blue. It's very a great hard way to, to photograph, it. I will. Yeah. Say, yeah. Yeah. To get that blue right. But it's um it's just so pretty. And then obviously if you wanted to add colours to it, different coloured threads, different coloured ribbons. Well, did you see you the big spool do? of all the different colours, the 60 different coloured spool rack that we had oh, on our yes, first day of yeah. birthday? Yeah. yeah. You see, that's amazing. If you've got all of those colours, you're going to want a project to crack them out, aren't you? Yeah, just yeah. to, have, uh, to yeah. have options is always yes. a good thing. So I'm going to pretend I have sewn pretend all of away. these. Yeah. I might just do a little bit of stitching around the edges and then I'm just going to trim them back. Whilst you do that, I'm going to show everybody the fabrics because if you've just joined us, you're like, well, I need these in my life. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Haha. -ha. Now, um, the panel that Lucy is using has unfortunately sold out. So I'm just going to take that away so that I don't, I'm not necessarily teasing you. 
But should I start with the other panels? Is a great place to start. So I've got the bear and I've got the sheep. And of course, I folded it so I can't actually. Yeah, I know I've got to unfold it before I, I don't know which one's which. Uh, here we go. I think this is the bear. Yes, the bear here. I still love the fact that Susan's uh, surname is Bear. That makes me very happy. Here we go. Now, when everybody checks out their baskets, um, there are only about five of these bears left. So please check out your baskets. The only way to guarantee them is to check out your basket. So if you are after Mr. Bear there, and he is really rather wonderful, then please do check out your baskets. It's $13.99 for the panel. That could be your quilt. You know, that could. That absolutely could be if you're after just a little quilt for a little one, and then, you know, how you quilt it is then up to you. But a brilliant place to start. Love this. Or, as Lucy's done to make it bigger, she's added in strips along here and down there and made it into a big, big quilt. I love it. I think this is one of my favorites. Now, uh, that one will sell out because we only had a couple left because you've gone crazy for it. Now, does this mean that there are a lot of um, children and grandchildren on the way? <gasps> Maybe it does. Sheep, sheep next. Lucy, don't look, it's fine. This is our other panel. I love this one. Now, uh, less than 10 of these left. Fewer than 10, but look at them. For me, this is calling out for some wibbly wobbly quilting all the way around there. So yeah, that's a technical term, Director Tim, wibbly wobbly quilting. If you've seen any of my quilting, it's wibbly wobbly. Uh, but then you see it's gonna look like the, the, the clouds. Oh, just beautiful. So, oh, five of these left now. Oh gosh, please check out your baskets. Oh, okay, more of you now have this in your baskets than we have available. Please check out your baskets. Love it. Absolutely love that. Now, if, uh, oh, no, hang on. I just want to show, I'm going to keep that out for a second for a reason, Producer Hannah. Don't worry, it's for a reason. She's like, what are you doing, Natasha? Only that, I just wanted to show you that if you are just going to quilt the panel like that, then look, because the width of it is the same as the fabrics that you get by the half meter. So that can be your backing for it. And then you can just get a meter of that. Happy days. So that's, and this is sold by the half meter. So $7.99 per half a meter. And so you'd have to put two units into your basket and then you'd get one continuous meter of this fabric or any of the other fabrics that I'm now about to show you. So that's $7.99 and this is from the Nest, the Nest one, which is just beautiful, just delightful. And of course that pink is the same pink that is in the sheep's bow on her ear. Yeah. So done that one. A uh, curious pause, or bimbling bear, as I like to call it. There we go. Let me move my sheep out of the way. Oh, Lucy, you'll get obsessed. She has to look at sheep. I don't know. They're just very, very cute. Right. Um, okay. Curious pause. Mm -hmm. They are. Look, they've been rummaging around all over the place, these paws. It's like you've woken up in the morning and it's all snowy, and you can see where all the animals have been. So well over half of this stock has gone. This is your curious pause. Whether you have got little ones, it doesn't matter because if you are an animal lover, this is a print for you. $7.99 per half a meter. This is your art gallery curious pause fabric from the Nest range. It's just beautiful. Um, Lucy said, have it as a blender. Just have it as a cute blender. Beautiful. English paper piece with your scraps of it as well. Have a little, little hexy with a little square, with a, with a little pour on. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, uh, Care Bears is the name of the next one. I did worry because we didn't actually have a picture of this this morning. So when it said Care Bears, I was like, oh no, like the saccharin type ones that I grew up with, like Love Bears and Care Bears and Hope Bear and Happy Bear and Sad Bear and Snivelly Bear and all the other Care Bears here. There wasn't a Snivelly Bear, was there? No. Um, here we go. This, this, so this was, a, this was beautiful when I saw this. And it's got cute written in um, blue, a grey blue, that lovely peachy pink. And also in kind of um, a neutral colour in there as well. 
very lovely. So it's suitable for boys, girls, anything else. There you go. So that is $7.99 now. You know, uh, we talked earlier about having some Macauers on the website that was going to be underneath on the website, underneath where you can watch live. These are, these are just some of them, just to show you how those colors really go. So if I show you the linear, the first one here, so this linear here picks out, I don't know if you can see the cute written in there. Um, I've probably picked out like the hardest color for you to see, but there's a little cute written in cream there, which is exactly that color there. So this is your linear in cream, and it just, oh, that's, a, yeah, there you go. You can see that, can't you? Perfect. Um, now, so that is $4.99 per half a meter. If you want to go again with that texture and go maybe with a slightly stronger pink, but again, same kind of tones. We haven't changed the tones, so it's still that dusky tone. Then that is your tea rose. Not to be confused with tea rexes. Tea rose, $4.99, IJMY91. So your Care Bears are down the bottom there, and this fabric is now, oh, now you see, yeah. Oh, shall I show you the spot, the silver spot? that? Um, because this is the one that's on the quilt. So if you've looked at the quilt that Lucy's made behind us, and she's put in a strip of this one behind it. So I know that a lot of you will be saying, yeah, but where, 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 what's that one? Whoa, 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 it's this one. You might not be saying it quite like that, but that's your spot on in silver. Beautiful, and actually, the other that we've got there's this blue spot on, and there's also a darker grey in the linear. They all work beautifully. But I just want there you go. Colour matching can be really hard, especially when you're on a screen. So we've done it for you. What are you doing? So I'm just trimming these back. I'm just on the last one. Hey Lucy, lots of people loving your shirt today. And oh, thank you very kindly. Thank you. Um, so I'm trimming these back to just get them all even. I am, again, going to be quite honest. I haven't measured them square. I'm just trusting that because I basted it, it'll be fine and it'll all come it'll out be a in the wash. Thing. Yes, so um, I've just literally taken... Because I just had used some lining, so I've just used white on the back of the squares. So I just had made that... Uh, slightly bigger than the squares. So on our website where you can buy all of our fabrics by the half meter, that's the optical white. It's 325 per half a meter yeah. uh, and that, that's on there. So if you are doing any quilting, it's always good to line. Yeah, you it's know, just a great one to have in your stash, isn't it? It is, yeah. Brilliant. Always have it in there. And um, if you were using the uh, fusible fleece to line them, you wouldn't need to do uh, squaring up. You know, if you were just embellishing it and yes. you weren't doing a lot of quilting or anything, okay. um, it, it would just be the right size that you'd cut it at. So we've got to this stage. I'm going to just take a slightly smaller ruler. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, mark on the back of the panels. Right, yes. In the corners. So I want all of these to be um, a half inch. So if you have creative grids, another reason why... They're just so genius. They're dreamy. Yeah, because you've got the inch marks and the half inch marks, you can just use that half inch um, corner. Corner. I've lost it now. Well, I, I've clearly <laughs> stolen your words. Words have gone. Just use that half inch corner, and then I'm just going to put a dot. So for those of you used to um, pattern making, dress making, all of those markings are on the pattern pieces. Right. Okay. But essentially, that's all I'm doing is just marking out um, Now, the if corners. from the last hour show, you were looking at the Essential Rectangles bundle, that's effectively what you've used. You've used one of the big rulers. You've used the little one. Yes. Really handy. And that's why it's just great to have that variety of sizes. Yeah, big ruler, little ruler, cardboard And box. it's not, yeah, it isn't that you can't do, you know, it's not that these markings aren't on the larger ruler, but it's cumbersome. And it's far easier to be able to have, uh, you know, a, a bit of variety and use, you know, the one that's easiest for this, your project. Uh, might shock you, Lucy, but I'm a yes. bit untidy in my uh, 
No. Yeah, no, I know. It's a shock. I am shocked. Yeah, no, whenever we have anyone come, I just have to shut the door to my work <laughs> so that nobody can see in. Because I've got about 15 different projects on the go. So, you know, they're all in different bits. Uh, so it is, to the untrained eye, it looks a mess. To me, it's perfectly organised. Um, but it means that often on, on my desktop, I'm not left with a huge amount of space. So actually, working a bigger rule around there, I'd have to actually clear something. Yeah. What? So this is much easier. Yeah, far easier. And also, if you do, if you like do classes or, you know, if you travel like me on the train, you can't always break out your twenty-four and a half inch ruler. So having a slightly smaller one is handy. Do you know what I did find really useful with the twenty-four and a half inch ruler? Yes. And this is something that I completely and change your blade. But you know, IKEA do the um, do the the blinds that you just buy them in the closest size, and then you okay, cut and them you down. cut them down. You cut. Done. My yeah. dad's like, how are you going to do that and get it straight? I'm like, it's fine. You might have a garage full of tools, <laughs> but I've got a rotary cutter and yeah. a big ruler. Step out my way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And Done. even, I mean, we've used it often for things, you know, my um, husband's in sort of art business, so uh, trimming paper and even the kids when they're doing projects, must have to cut something down. It's so handy to have that ruler. Okay, so now the fun begins and we start sewing okay. it together. So I know I'm going to have to work really quickly because I'm running out of time, but essentially you can decide where you want to place your panels. So I did it with four going round so they're all facing the same way because I was thinking if you wanted to have that be decorative, it'd be nice, you know, to have it all facing upwards. Um, but you could do it like a dice and have it, you know, all going every which way on each side. So you sort of roll it yeah. and see what Freddie side had, comes up. Freddie um, had building blocks like this. Uh, they were sort of a quarter of the size. So they, and he, they were one of the things that he absolutely loved the most. And he just, even as a tiny, tiny top, just used to bundle them all together. And it was safe mm. and it was lovely. It didn't matter when it um, ran out. Hi, where is the panel for the nursery cube, please? Oh, it's sold out. It's sold out by about 10 minutes. Past. But we've got lots of other ones by the half meters, so you can mix and match them through. Maybe if you want to grab one of the big panels, then you could have, you know, the bear, which is still there. We, there you go, bear. Then you could have that on one of the panels, and then, uh, you know, play with the other fabrics. So you do have other options, but that panel, I'm afraid, whoosh, went. I'm so in the way. <laughs> <laughs> never, never. Now you're going to need no, instructions if you want to make some of these. And uh, here they are. Oh, we have to do that again. Here we go. These are your instructions over here. So you've got a play mat. You've got various different organisery things. Very useful. And then you've got your smaller quilts and then the cube as well. These are when you've got kids. The stuff. Even if you just put baby wipes, nappy bags nappies, cotton buds, all the other paraphernalia. Yeah, because there's, on, on, there's on. so much stuff and none of it's particularly attractive, is it? No. So you really want somewhere you can hide And you need things. it to hang. So if you want to hang that on the wall behind your changing mat. Now, what, are we are running out of time? Okay, what can so, you tell us about the construction? Um, so I put those dots in the, you yes. know, at half an inch. I'm using half an inch seam allowance okay. in this pattern. And so I'm sewing from dot to dot. Join the dots. Join the dots. Okay. So... I'm not starting at the edge, I'm starting at the dot, sewing to the dot and stopping on the dot. And I'm gonna do that to put four of the panels together. Okay. Okay, I could do it every which way. Derek Tim way. says even he could do that. Maybe. And then, <laughs> I'm only joking. Like that too. Yeah, so just dot to dot. And so you do that um, for all four and then you sew those ends together. So that's going to make up your, your cube. cube. Okay. And then do you want, to, while I'm holding this one, do you want to grab another one and put it on the top? Love to. So then you put that one there, but you do it the, you do I'd it back. I'd love to, but apparently I can't. Yes, you do it the opposite way so that the, 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 that's it, like that. And then what you do is you, again, sew dot to dot. Right. So it's a little bit tricky because it's a Y seam, but it's not difficult. What you want to remember is when you get to the corner where you have to pivot, Keep your needle down, lift your foot, and just tuck the corner underneath so you're not catching it. Right. And that's going to give you neater corners. Okay. The whole thing's padded anyway. 
it's for a child. If it isn't perfect, no one need know. So if don't be terrified by the idea of a Y seam. It's very, very simple. And of course, you've got the instructions, instructions. in the pattern. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a really easy, fun one to do. It can be as quick, you know, you could do it really quickly if you didn't add the embellishments on. I did forget the ribbons. On two of the panels on each side, you cut lengths of the ribbon and you attach it into oh, the nice. seam. Julie in Surrey says, hello, girls. I've bought the pattern. I like it when people call us girls. I know, I like yeah. that. Uh, she says, I, I have two girls, 24 and 28 years old, no grandchildren yet. So I've got it for myself. Good for you. Good for you. So, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Do. Producer Hannah I love saying, it. I, I, would yeah. use, I would I would absolutely make I'll things for myself yes. out of this fabric. So you just take the snippets of the ribbon and whatever, you can add as much or as little as you want. You add them into the corner, and then when I'm adding my next panel, I'm yes. just sewing sewing down so they're caught if inside, and then they become little tabby. If you want that tabby. pink grow grain ribbon, details coming up on the screen. Three, two, one. Now, £4.50 for four metres. It's nice, it's beautiful actually, because it's both sides, it's, it's like a proper proper posh one. There you go. So you, you can base those into place so you're not going to um, catch them as you're going along, but it is a really lovely quality ribbon. Lovely. Really, really nice. And it's nice, it's got those stitches running through it as well. Ever so pretty. We will run, we're practically out of time, but look, we've got a grey grow grain, we've got blue grow grain. Producer Hannah will put all of these through so they will show up on the website. And that's 4.49 again for your, your grey and ivory, silver grey and ivory, grow grain. Nice. Lucy, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm more than a bit in love with this. I know, me too. But I'm Just very in love with it. Ridiculously cute. <laughs> uh, you're back at 11. I am. What are we doing at 11? We're doing a mini quilt. Ah, yes. Now, this has been featured in one of the magazines. It has. Particularly beautiful. Now, in the magazine, it had a tulip pink square mm -hmm. central bit. Very appropriate because she's in tomorrow. Oh, John's got her tomorrow. Um, Excited. So, you're going to join us at 11 yes. and talk us through how to make that beautiful mini quilt. And yeah. we'll go into who the designer is and everything then. But it is absolutely stunning. Please check out your baskets for any of these because they are are flying out. Um, just beautiful. Yeah, so I'm not just surprised enjoying. at all because they are. You'll love it when you get it. Now, home. just be aware your delivery might be a little bit longer because of all the fabric we've got to cut, but you will still get it and it will be beautiful and that will be wonderful. See you in a moment.
Join us on Wednesday the 7th of February when we're thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family with her debut show. Tula Pink's fabric designs are inspired by her love of animals and nature and she enjoys hiding animal characters in unusual places in her illustrations. Her bold use of colour and patterns makes her fabrics a joy to quilt and sew with. Tula also has her own range of tools to add a special touch to your workroom. Her biggest fans include our own designers Lucy Brennan and Joe Carter. Like many people around the world, they're inspired by her gorgeous fabrics, so we can't wait to reveal these exciting prints and accessories. So join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday the 7th of February. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. doing this this hour okay yes. love this uh this is bex reese is that it is your design isn't it bex it is. i've got I've, you know i've told everyone it's yours yeah, so yeah, it, is. it is now uh, but isn't this great so we're going to make this but before we get into that let's have a look at this because we set you a challenge and you rose to the occasion beautifully and you sent us in and in the breaks you'll have seen some of the gorgeous blocks that you sent in for our block challenge and we whittled them down gosh it was hard it was really hard but we did we whittled it down to eight that we absolutely adore and uh, we would now like you at home to choose which is your favorite and they will win great prizes so um text so and then the number of the block that you love so for example if you love number seven you would text so seven to six six seven 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 if you love block number one so one six six seven 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 that's the number that you text to it's just your standard texty rate thing all the details on the bottom there so take a look at that if you're worried at all about any of that but it's all there all the details just a standard text rate now also there are only five of those so specials you know the uh the 24 half meter color wheel that we'd taken you know um, nine pounds 75 off yeah that one five of those left so if you've got that in your basket please check out do not miss out on that very very occasionally we will bring those to you but they are such hard work for our warehouse to do because each one involves so much cutting we don't bring it to you very often because it really we have to get extra cutters in and all that kind of stuff so we do it very rarely but when we do boy do you pounce on it so make the most on it if you're after that and that discount then make the most of that so special deal that we had for you today now oh Anything else? Now, we do just have to warn you, um, and a, a little apology for this as well, but obviously we have been super, super busy over birthday, and oh my gosh, you've really celebrated with us and, and bought so much stuff. So thank you very much for that. There is a very slight delay on the warehouse, so just so that you know, you know, if it takes an extra day, just bear with us. You will get it, and it will still be equally beautiful, but it's just, you know, they're inhuman. Now, our daily competition, everything that you buy today, each item kind of acts as a raffle ticket, if you will. So you'll go into a prize draw and uh, tomorrow's, well, the prize that you'll win today, tomorrow, will be the sew bags. You've got loads of tilde in there as well, beautiful fabrics, and then also uh, that lovely dog bag, which is just fab. Adore it. 
But if you spend £30 any time this week, then you'll go into our super duper duper prize draw. You'll go into the daily one as well, but you'll also go into the super super all singing, all dancing. What? We're giving a sewing machine away as well. I knew it was worth over £700, but really, whacking in a sewing machine and all those goodies that you see there. That's amazing. That's worth a 30 quid punt, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. And you'll still be getting £30 of stuff that you love anyway. So, you know, it's win-win. Happy days. <laughs> I like this. Now, if you're like me and you are a bag overfiller, then this is the bag for you because you can just pop it over your shoulder like that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling trendy. I'm not normally trendy, but this is good. I like it. And it sits really beautifully. Now, the... Um, the different varieties that we've got for you today are, have got gorgeous fabrics. They fold really nicely. Can I just show you? Look, it's got a little popper on there. One of our super duper magnetic ones that are really, really magnetic. Because look, then it opens up into just a big square, basic, well, rectangle. But look, because then, oh, hang on, hang on, there's a zip and everything. Cool, you've gone to town on this, haven't you, Bex? Look at that. Yes, yes, yeah. I love that. I love that there is a beautiful Amy Butler surprise in this one. Yeah. Now, that fabric only came out at the beginning of this year. Isn't that brilliant? So then, you see, you don't even have to zip it up. I mean, that's if you want sort of belt and braces and you're, I don't know, where, somewhere where there are pickpockets. But mm. let's have a look at these bundles because um, you're going to need these in your life. So you get half a metre of each of the fabrics. We've gone in with our really, really soft pleather, our PU leather, pleather, as we like to call it. Um, and that is, that's a new colour, isn't it, today? Fab. Shall I show you? Look, um, we got that in just for birthday. Uh, so there it is. That's the colour of the, it's kind of a khaki, isn't it? Sort of, sort of. Uh, so new birthday colour there. And you, you get everything. This is a whopping bundle that's beautiful brand new amy butler there and then you also get your d rings you get your magnetic clasp you get your thread um you get your strappy thing technical slider, slider thank you you get your zip as well and you get your um your webbing strap and the instructions because otherwise i wouldn't even know where to start quite frankly we'll look at that when we're with bex now Ooh, next bundle. Oh, this is a classic. Yeah, navy and red. Love navy and red together. So half a metre of your pleather, half a metre of your red. Don't they go beautifully together? And then you've got your navy zip. You've got your red handle. Then you've got all your bittity bob bits, hardware, software, whatever it's called. There you go, you've got your uh, D-rings, you've got your slider, you've got your magnetic clasp, you've got your thread, and you've got full instructions. And given that Bex is our technical editor of Simply Sewing magazine, they better be good, Bex. <laughs> like, no, no pressure, but if they're rubbish, we'll be really disappointed, because that's your job. <laughs> that's what a technical editor does. She makes, basically, our designers will make stuff, scribble down how they did it, give it to Bex, and then she has to decipher their hieroglyphics and make it um, so that we can actually follow and, and do it. So we'll talk to Bex about that in a minute. Oh, hello. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, I like this one. Now, look at this. Look at it. What colour are we calling this? Is this aubergine? Nice. Aubergine. And then, oh, look at this. That's rather lovely. That's, that's your flash of colour when you open it up. Isn't that beautiful? Really beautiful. They're not shuttlecocks, Director Tim. Oh, this is Michael Miller. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful Michael Miller fabric there. Michael Miller is, in fact, two people. Yeah. There's your, your webbing strap. There's your thread. There's your zip. There's all of your um, bag paraphernalia there, your magnetic glass, your D-rings, and your slider, and your instructions there. That's awesome. Also, you can make that brilliant bag. I'm going to bring it with me. Here we go. Bring the bag. Bring the bag. It's like we're dancing. <laughs> ah. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. Now, 
Now, now, now. Let me just arrange that mannequin beautifully. There. Oh, they're looking lovely. Looking lovely. Uh, now, oh. Just checking my mic. Oh, Bex's mic is playing up. Bear with us. We'll be back in a minute. Is it okay now? Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all yeah. mic'd up and happy? Is it good now? Yay, good. excellent. Hello, Hello, Bex. Nice to see you. What a bonus. <laughs> that actually, you're here and we can hear you. Yes, you can <laughs> hear me. That's happy all good. Days. It's all good. Uh, now, this is... The messenger bag. What's the inspiration behind it? Um, well, I've seen quite a few of them online when I'm doing when I'm supposed to be working, doing a bit of internet shopping. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I've seen quite a few of them, and I like the idea that it's just a messenger bag. You know, that nice size. You can put your laptop in, your shopping, whatever you fancy. But then I've seen them where they sort of cross over like this, sort of a bit nice. of extra security. And yeah. I've done it so that the zip closes here, and then you put that on, and 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 then if you've got a lot of stuff, you don't need to use that, and if you've only if you've got a few little bit you can put it on I just like the look it's it's super safe isn't it yeah. I remember um when I was a teenager going to Italy for the first time on a holiday and mm. there being a big thing about there being lots of pickpockets and you have to you know put your bag over there and then zip it and did it also it makes it sort of two sizes so you can have it as a big nice. or a small um and then I love this pleather it's really well, soft. It's so soft, it drapes and it's beautifully. it's really nice to sew with. Yes, it is, Because isn't it? Um, it's not like sewing with leather or something where you have to really think about the needle and the stuff, but you can just sew. I just used a normal sewing machine needle to do it. It's easy, easy peasy. Steady. Be a bit careful where you're pressing it. That's yeah, all. You just need a it. cloth. Okay. A cloth. I mean, you can press it, you just have to put a cloth, otherwise your iron will melt it. But other than that, it's really easy to sew with. And it's just, this. what I really like about this is it just sits in the shape yeah. of the body really it's nicely. Just casual. You done good, Bex. Mm, you nice done good. I'm going to wheel her over there. <laughs> yeah. So that's the green one, but I'm going to show you how to make the aubergine one. Oh, nice. Here are the instructions. Mm. These are. This is what you'll get now. If you've not mm. met Bex before, mm. this is her job. Mm. Not, not, not <laughs> job. This, this is what you do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is what you do. You make. You decipher the instructions from our designers and take photos, you yeah. do them step by step, so that you at home can go, yeah, that's really easy, I can do that. It makes it achievable, easy to follow. Well, this one was in the magazine. Right. Well, it's in the magazine, it's on sale at the moment, in Simply Sewing, so okay. you can buy that. Or this, I've taken it out and then rewritten it so that it makes sense with all the fabrics you've got. Nice, so, just for us. Yes, just for you. So everything oh, you need is in the that. kit, all the materials and the instructions. Now, did you know that you've got, we've got a super duper offer on your magazine? Have you? What yeah. is it? What is it today? <laughs> what, is it what is it today? Today's offer is... <laughs> today's offer gents. is... Uh, it's a cracker, actually. If you get your year's subscription today, not only are we going to give you 50% off mm -hmm. your subscription for any of these magazines... Oh, yes. Check out the website for all this. But next year... Mm -hmm. Going to give you 40% off next oh, year as well. that's amazing. So you get two years of offers. Yes. That's yes. fab. And there's so much stuff in them, it's really worth it. Really yeah. Worth it. This is it, mm. because um, I was talking earlier about our new uh, Sewing Quarter fan page, yeah. and so many lovely comments and people helping each other. Mm. It's a, a beautiful forum for everyone to get involved on Facebook and, and just help out and hints, tips and advice. And uh, there was a lady on there, a lovely lady, saying, where do I start? And so many said, get one of the magazines. Yeah. They'll find patterns in there, hints, tips, help, step by step. Yeah, because everything you need pace. is in there, but doing this, this is a bit about me bringing the magazine to life. Yes. So you can open the magazine, you can read the instructions, and you can see it, but by showing it to you on air and how you do it, it's a much easier way. I mean, I can explain it in words, I can take the pictures, but to actually show you how to sew the zip, how to cut the box corner. Yes. So this is really... The magazine is coming to life. This is how, this now. is why Sewing Quarter yeah. came about because the mm. magazines were already there. They've existed yeah. for a few years. Uh, they're, they're brilliant magazines. But like you say, we want actually to be able to see. And and I always describe the channel as Blue Peter for adults. Yeah. Um, with with sewing, where you know you can actually then that's what I want to make. You get the whole kit with everything ready to go. Well, particularly with something like this with this bag, it's not just fabric. You need all the haberdashery the with it and all of that and stuff. Bumps. And so I've collated all of that together. So so all you have to do is buy the kit and then you're ready to go. Because I would forget something. You, well, I know, or you just can't find right that one thing. And all of, I've chosen them all, so all the different bits and pieces match. Perfect. And, um, then and at the right size, because sometimes yeah. you make that whole trip out to go to the And these is all right, so, and then you can make your very own pleather bag. Nice. So, should we start? Yeah. Okay. I thought you were never going to ask. I thought you were never going to ask. So what we're going to start well, with... She's gone. I know, I've, gone, I've, gone, I've disappeared underneath here to find my zip. 
So we're going to start I'm with... Back in a minute. It's just a voice from the beans. Right, we're going to start with the zip. So okay. what we do first, now what I've done, rather than have loads of big bits of fabric, I've cut out some smaller pieces because it's easier to show you. So the first thing you do is cut out everything, all the fabrics, that you, the two fabrics to sizes, and they're all in the instructions, so I won't go through those. And then you insert the zip. This is the first job. Straight in. Straight I in. Mean, let's not, let's, let's get not. the zip first. So the best way, I've done okay. one for you already. So right. what we're going to do is put fabric ends on our zip. Oh, I like this detail. Because it's it means lovely. that the zip doesn't go right into the edge of the bag. Because I worry little... about sewing over the edge. It also gives you a little bit of space. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it makes the zip prettier and safer. Yeah. And so what you do is it tells you in the instructions that you cut a two zip tabs. So this is what a zip tab looks okay. like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A rectangle of fabric. You fold the ends to the middle yep. and then fold it in half again and then you've got a tab. It's a bit like making binding, basically. It is. You always make your tab wider than the zip because it's easier to sew something bigger and then cut it than cut it to the exact size and sew it. Oh, yeah, no, that's always good. That's a, that's yeah. a recipe for one So all you have to do is, like I've done here, is you put the end of the zip inside there, like that. Oh, okay. hang on, hang on. Let's show us again. Show us again. There we go. So you put inside. the end of the zip inside there and sew it across. Okay. Once that's done, you trim it down. Now, this zip is plastic, okay? So as long as you go gently and carefully, don't just put your foot down and go full speed across there. Don't yeah, no, but it, you will be able to sew through, yes. but slowly. Yes. Then what you do is the zip is a bit longer than you need because it's come in set sizes. Okay. So the zip has to measure from one end to the other with tabs, 45 centimetres. Right. It tells you that in the instructions. So you don't need to remember that. So once you've put the one on this end, on the slider end, you then put the other one, mm -hmm. measure your 45 centimetres, and then you'll have to trim a little bit off the zip. Okay. Put it in and sew across the other. So that... I do that with my kitchen scissors. Don't do it with your dressmaking scissors or your super sharp fabric scissors. Don't do it with that. Just get your, through. Get but it's your only in, it's only that. nylon coil, so it will be fine. But it's important to make your zip the right length. Yeah. And that's great because zips come in all sorts of lengths. And if at home you're making something another time, think, oh, the zip's too long. It's fine. You can make your zip whatever long length you want. As long as it's pretty. shorter. As long as it's shorter. <laughs> shorter. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. can do the same with metal zips. Perfect. What you do is when you sew across it, you just lift the foot and just jump over and then carry on sewing. So you can shorten metal zips too. But you obviously you have to wind the handle down as you're sewing to make sure yeah, you don't hit the teeth. But careful. you can do that. So that's your the zip and the tabs. Then what we're going to do, so this is the, the front of the bag. Obviously it's a lot bigger. Yes. But it's easier for you to see like this. So this is the front of the bag and this is the lining of the bag. This is the sandwich where I get confused. So the zip is three centimetres shorter than the fabric because we've got a one and a half centimetre seam allowance either side. Okay, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, good. So what you do is you place your zip right side down mm. on your fabric mm. and make sure, I mean, you can measure it or look at it, it's got to be the same distance, which will, because your measurements are correct, be one and a half centimetres either side. Yeah. Um, and right then... Right sides together. You get this piece. So right, so your zip is right sides down. It's all in the instructions. And then you get the lining fabric and you paint place that right sides on top. Now, there's two choices here. You can either pin it together mm. or you can clip it together. Later on, you will need to clip because the pins will mark the, oh, pins the, will mark the pleather and you'll never get the marks out. With this, it's fine to pin it because we're pinning within the seam allowance. You won't see it. Oh, OK. Right. But later when you're doing things, you can use these fabric clips. How much do you love these? Aren't I they love great? Them. I love them. I love them. We'll and show you those magic clips later. So... First, make sure that it's the same distance. And if I was you, I'd start with the slider at the other end and we're going to move it later. Mm. So you can measure it if you like, but make sure it's the same. Put this on top and pin them together. Now, if you've not done this before and you're a bit nervous about lining it up, then tack the zip on first. You can also use, you know, our, um, our glue pens for you English paper that, pieces. Yes. You can baste with those as well, which is brilliant. I mean, sometimes I do that, is, or I sometimes machine sew this zip on first, but really close to the edge. Yeah. Then do that. I mean, and obviously it takes time, but if you're new to this and you're a bit nervous, you know, you've got three layers here that have all got to match up, which is important that they do match yeah. up, otherwise your zip will look really wonky. So 
tack the zip on, machine sew it on, but very close to the edge. Yeah. Um, or pin all three layers together like I'm doing. You see, this is a sandwich. It's one of those things that if I really sit and think about it, I can work it out. Mm. But because I don't do it every day, then um, it's one of those things that actually I always need to have those instructions just to refer back to, to make sure that I'm doing it exactly right. Because as soon as anything's right sides together or mm. wrong sides together or this, that, yeah. and the sandwich with the zip in the middle and this, it's a recipe for confusion for me. I'm a bear of small brain. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just it's, it's ready to confuse for me. So there you are. That's all sewn together. So, but if you're, you know, if you're a bit unsure about it, take the time to tack or so, so the zip on first. Prior and proper preparation prevents yes. poor performance. I'm not going Specs to do read. that. Oh, so <laughs> now use because... She says, no, she does. Well, only because I've done a few of these and I don't want to spend the time tacking it. So now using a zip foot in your machine, you're going to sew the zip on. Now what you need to do is you need to sew the zip. The teeth, the edge of your zip foot needs to hit the teeth. Right. Then you know it's right. So what I do is, because when you're at this end, there are no teeth. Mm. But when you're here, you can see. So what I do is I line up the foot with where the teeth are, and then I see where this fabric comes in relation to oh, there. Okay. So it's pretty much this foot is on the edge of the fabric. Right. It'd be different with different feet. So just do it in the middle, and then when and then starting at the other end, you then know where to line your foot up. And because you spent that time getting yeah. it all lined up beautifully, then you, you know are good to go. because obviously at this end there are no teeth. No. So. <laughs> because yeah, you've got your centimetre and a half seam allowance, haven't you? Yeah, so, sew together all the way along, taking the pins out as you go, but as I said, do tack it if you're not sure. If you haven't tacked it, make sure that all these three layers mm. are constantly lined up. Okay. Yeah? Oh, look, you can see there. Brilliant, yeah. There you go. Because if you don't have them all lined up, particularly the zip in the middle, it would be wonky, but you know, it's easy enough. When you get, it's easy, I find it a lot easier to sew with the zip closed. So when you get close to where the slider is, he's at this end yeah. now, lift, keep the needle down, lift the foot up and undo the slider and put it back down again. Now the slider's out of the way. Mine often gets, this has got quite a nice lift on it, this machine, so you can get the slider mm. under. With mine, I, I, I don't have quite so much lift. So what I found is if I just move this mm. sort of around a bit. Oh, well, I do. I just take it out. Just mm. stop, take the fabric out, undo the zip and put it back in. And oh, just, do you? Yeah, and just reverse stitch over. Oh, okay. There That's you go. fine. So if you haven't got enough lift to get past it, just... I've been wiggling and jiggling around. No, just take the, the fabric out. Because you don't want to start bending your needles or anything if you're having any problem. And then you've just, as long as you reverse stitch over where you stopped, yes. it'll be fine. So there we go. We go right to the end. Reverse stitch. Done. Dun, dun, dun. Brilliant. So now we've got our zip between our lining. Nice. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. And that's all neat. We now do that on the other side. I'm not going to do that now. So because look, you've you, got it's exactly the same principle. That's your outside layer, so that's how that's going to look on there. And then and what? Then you, when you open it up, you see, you'll see all your beautiful lining. No, obviously, this will be like your full size piece. We've just done it as a little one. Just well, it's just you. easier to show you. And then what you do is you put this edge of the zip exactly yep. the same, right side down on there. Yeah. You get your piece of lining right yep. side down. Yeah. And if I quickly put a pin in the middle to show you what it looks like, you can then see that's what will happen. Yeah, perfect. Yeah? And you'll have the two linings. Lovely. And that's that. And then, when you finish that... so that the hardest bit of the bag? Yeah, I think there's, it, it, this bag's quite interesting because I, and the way I'm going to show you to do there's lots of little bits that you learn as you go along. So I'm doing it as little bits so you can see it. Um, that's fiddly, but as I said, if you take your time, that's easy, isn't it? Yes. It's just fiddly. Do you then top stitch? Yes. Yeah, so what you do moment. next, right. once you've put both sides on, yes. you then top stitch. Now, this okay. is where you need to press it. Um, and all you have to do is use a spare piece of fabric and just put it on top. It will press absolutely fine. I've used steam, all sorts. It presses fine, but you mustn't touch the iron on here. No. Because you'll, it you'll will wreck melt. Your but fabric. the only thing is, I found is if you use steam, because I keep forgetting to turn it off, you end up with it get a bit wet. 
because it doesn't absorb, whereas if you've got cotton fabric, it absorbs it. So fine. it does end up a bit wet. Uh, so Susanna says yesterday we had um, the sort of muslin type yes, you've ironing got, cloth, yeah. but they sold out. But would that work? You can use anything like that. I, okay. I got um, the back of an old school shirt. It's lovely, because they're quite big, aren't they? And I cut all the buttons off it because I like to keep the buttons. I just cut the back off it, so that's what I use. And I know you should have a Brilliant. proper cloth, but and anything, but just make sure you don't melt it. So you just press it open and you top stitch across. Good stuff. But I'm not going to do that now, oh. otherwise we won't do. We won't see the rest of it. Oh, we want to see the rest of it. So the next stage mm. is here's one I've made earlier. Hey. So now look, there's the. Oh, do you like Blue Peter? There's the zip now. Nice. Top stitched. To perfection. Along there. Yeah. Let me just show that. So, and that just means that when you open it, the teeth don't, the zip doesn't get caught in the teeth of yeah. fabric because there's nothing worse. And it just makes it nice and neat edge. It's yeah. nice and flat. But that's easy enough. Again, just go slowly. When you do your top stitching, lengthen your stitch to about three, three and a half. And you'll get a better look. Yeah, and then there's the little tabs. If we, I, it's just it's that little peak, it's a little promise of mm. something to come when you open that. And it stops this getting right into the seam, so it's easier to undo. I think it's brilliant. Uh, producer Anna goes, oh, that's so irritating. God, there's there's a bit of like producer anger going on there. <laughs> the thought of a zip getting stuck somewhere. Uh, so this is the aubergine kit. Uh, you're getting a metre of fabric, strap, haberdashery, everything for thirty four ninety nine. So this one, it's down there. So the what green you... one that we made there. Is over there. So I'm going to turn this inside out. So when you've sewn your zip in and top yes. stitched it, yes. you then place your outside pieces, your pleather pieces, mm -hmm. right sides together, mm -hmm. and your lining pieces, right sides together, mm -hmm. and you sew them together. I've got to undo the whole thing to do this. It's just I wanted to show you that bit. Um, so you sew them. Oh, yes. Right sides together, the pleathers. Yeah. And the linings, right sides together. Yeah. From the bottom all the way. Now leave the bottoms open. Don't sew the bottoms. Okay, because you need, you'll need to be able to get in there in a minute to put your clasps on. I've just put the little corners on for now, which I'll do later. But don't, mm. do, just sew all the way so down. So literally from here, from this end. All the way along the lining. <laughs> And oh, no, hang on a minute, hang on. When I get to here, where the zip is, mm. which way do I push Fold the zip? Fold the, um, the zip tab towards the lining. That way? Yeah, towards the lining. You could fold it either way, but it's just that. I that, can never remember. Well, the reason for that is that there's more bulk in the pleather. So oh, OK. So you're adding to the bulk if you put the yeah. zip tab there. Straight, straight, straight. And then all the way along to the end. And, and there. All in. And then okay. you will need, leave the bottoms open, which you don't normally do. You'd normally sew the bottom of the bag. One and then and leave the, the But yes. you need to leave all the bottoms open. Okay. Because what you need to do now is you turn it right sides out. And in order to make this little bit that we got, you can see on the other one. Oh, is this the this bit? Yeah. Look. In order to make... I've got all the words today. To make I? the zip Very hidden. Very clear. So that's... You want, the, you want the zip to be hidden. It's this bit that we're now looking at. We're doing this bit. And that hides the zip. So when the zip's yeah. done up, it's not immediately obvious. I love the hidden promise. And it's just a nicer finish. You, once you've done that, you fold the top over all the way around, just by four centimetres. And then again, you top stitch around the edge. Is that all you do? Yeah, that's all. And that's that with the lining and everything. Yeah, the lining doesn't go in there. The okay. lining isn't in there because you'll see in the instructions when you cut these, the lining is shorter than the main fabric. Oh, so it's yeah. not. It doesn't so have the, the lining to be a part isn't of up that. in there. But actually, be careful when you're doing to make sure you don't catch it. But it does tend to just fall down on its own because it's okay. shorter. Yeah. So now we're at that stage. So. And that's literally just by folding up. You four just fold it. You just measure it and fold it. And the best thing to do is what I found is. Measure four centimetres from the zip and mark it with, um, you know, an erasable marker yeah. or something, and then clip them. Ah, uh, now, yes, tell because us about these magic clips. Well, you can't pin, you can't pin this because you'll see the pin marks. Right. So you've got to clip it. Okay. Now, these clips are great because you can actually, the foot of your machine will go over them if, should yeah. you need yeah. to. Um, Obviously, with this they can't because you're top stitching. If you're using them for a seam, your yeah. fitting machine can be this. You're, you're doing it so close, or something like that. But this will just hold it down, which is just great. And they won't mark it, which are brilliant. So I've got a big box of these that I keep at home all the time. I used to use clothes pegs, but they're so bulky. Yeah, I know it's yeah. <laughs> You've got like this 
piece of fabric with massive clothes pegs on it. So <laughs> you need to buy these. <laughs> you do. You, you absolutely do. Need to buy do. Them. This is the small ones. We've got larger ones on the website, but this is the small ones. Perfect for this particular uh, design. Thirteen ninety nine. It's one of those things. I always wonder well, when would I use them now. Yeah. I'd use them now. Well, and I use them for lots of, not just fabrics that will mark, but if you're using quite a bulky fabric, if you're using like a jeans fabric or something, it's really hard to pin. Yeah. But these will just clip through anything. And clip And really flat. quick to take off. So when you're using something a bit bulky, something that will mark, or even something quite delicate, clips. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put these clasps on. This is why we've left the bottom open so we can get in there. Okay. So I've put one in already, and then we're going to put the other one in. I had a goat doing this the other day. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. easy to do. I mean, obviously, I realise that I have weak thumbs. So, um, you, you know, you can, always get, you can always get a spoon or something out of your kitchen to press down on it. Yes. Yeah, so let me just get my clasp out and a little pair of scissors. <sighs> so, what you do is, with my lovely tape measure... I love these. This, this, this was one of my favourites. I bought this one for myself. Did you? Yes, but we still do sell them. I love Look his style. I've got a sheep as well. Did you get the sheep one? Got a sheep and a Brilliant. snail, but he's lovely. Um, we got these because mm. they're just fun. They're just Retractable lovely. tape measure, and 8 he's crocheted. They are the detail. No, no, it's just, just spectacular. So his tail mm. is the tape measure. I and use then, it all the time. And then there, in the middle of your crochet bit there, bing. Mm. And he's Brilliant. got little beads for eyes. If you ever wanted a gift for anyone that oh, sews. Is it? I know. I had, are in love it with is. Design. I know. I bought it myself. Online and everything. So when you you put the top one in, um, Did you buy both at the same time. <laughs> yes. Did you get your free gift. Yeah. No, I've already got my free gift when I bought something else. I know I did actually go and buy them online myself. So you put one clasp in, it tells you the measurements, two centimetres in, two mm -hmm. centimetres in. Then what you do is you measure with your snail. Um, 20 centimetres down from the top. And you really do love this snail. I know, I do love him. And then you just mark that. Hang on, I'm pinning. Gonna, yeah, I know, I shouldn't, I'm going to just put that there because I've got a pen. You just told us not to pin. I know, but you can, it's just in there. Okay. So mark 20 centimetres in, okay? Uh, somebody's asked, uh, do we have the instructions by their, by their own? No, you have to buy the whole kit no. to get the instructions. Yes. But so, you or know, subscribe to the magazine. But it means that you've got everything with it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's the thing because otherwise you're just going to be rummaging around trying to. Because if you want mm. the instructions by themselves, presumably you want to make bag. Yeah. Which means that you've got everything. All you've got together. all the stuff well, you have need. Have a look at all the bundles in a minute. Don't worry. Just want to see how to do this. So measure twenty centimeters down the side, yeah. and then fold. So that's there, and that's there. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives you your nice fold. Now, that's how I've done it. If you don't want as much of a fold, you want a bit less of a fold or more of a fold, that's up to you. Yeah. But I've done it at 20 centimetres. Nice. And then, because you, you've already put one clasp in, mm. see where that clasp, if you give it a press, it'll leave a tiny little indent for you. And then just put a dot. I love that you have chosen the, the, the only <laughs> fabric pen that is exactly the same colour as the bag. Yeah, but it actually shows up. It, does, it? does, it does. So, you know, flatten that out nicely. And then if you just... Do that. So now I've got a little hold, okay? Can you see that? A little Look tiny there. mark, which... Clear as day. I know, but it doesn't matter because I'm. it only needs to be there for a few minutes, if that. So that's the male end of the clasp. Right. And this is the female end. Right. For obvious reasons. Well, <laughs> I can't imagine what that would be. <laughs> for obvious reasons. So the female... Goes on the bottom. And Derek didn't yes. to know the reasons. And the male goes on the top. So. <laughs> <laughs> Male's on top. In right. clasps. Anyway. So, take the... the children. Um, children. <laughs> the well, that's what they call the male. I mean, if you did it the other way round, it would be fine. Know, but it's best to do the male on the top. This is the washer? Yeah. Right. Place the hole in the middle of the washer on that mark you've done. Yeah? And then draw either side... Natasha's got the giggles now. Um, no, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Draw either side, and again, you can use a pen or a bit of chalk or pencil. It hasn't got to last long. See, I can see those just about. So now, we, can see, we can all see those. Can you there see you them go. just about? Yeah, look at that. Take a tiny pair of scissors oh, and God. just put your hand inside because you must only cut through this, not through oh, anything else. Don't go else. through the lining as well. No. And just snip those little things. Okay. Okay. And then... 
take your female clasp yeah. and put the two mm. prongs through. Uh -huh. da, da, da. Right, now turn it over to the other side. Right. And to strengthen this, because you don't want to pull it out, I cut a little piece of... Oh, you've got another little piece. Another little piece of PU that I'm going to cut two little snips in. I should have measured those first, really. Just in the centre. It's only yeah. a little scrap, but it just... It just reinforces, doesn't it? Well, you don't want it to pull... When you open it and shut mm -hmm. it all the time, you don't want it to pull through. If you were doing this with a fabric that wasn't, that was easier to iron, then you might use an interfacing, a strong interfacing. Yeah, or just, you know, a bit of felt, anything. It's just got to be a, a bit of fabric. So can you see that? Yeah. Then... On, where's the washer? Where's the washer? Where's the washer? Where's the washer? There it there is. There he is. So there's the washer, which we used as a template as well. Yeah. Put the washer on. Now, a lot of time when you read this, it tells you to... Put your prongs outwards. Really? Yes. When you read instructions, they say put them prongs, but I don't. I always put them inwards. You rebel. Because it's... Just ignore that. Just ignore all Just ignore that. And, just and because they're overlapping. Oh, so it's extra strength. They're extra strength. This is where strength. I have to get a spoon, you see. Yeah, look at that. See? And press down. Fingers. Because if they went that way, they'd be putting more tension on the outside because they'd go beyond. Because they're overlapping, they're stronger. So always bend them inwards, whatever they say. Yeah. <laughs> It's this all lies. It's all lies. So Back now, look, specs, we've got a clasp and a clasp. Nice. Da, this da, is da. coming together a treat. Yay. Magic. And boys on top. Boy, always male on top. Brilliant. I'm going over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're so immature. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, aubergine. Here we go. This is your aubergine bundle. This is the most popular. Over half of the stock has gone. And that's as in checked out, not just those left in, in, in your baskets. That's those actually checked out, gone, it's mine. Or, well, yours, because, you know, you're the one that's checked out. Um, and you're getting, look, you're getting webbing for your uh, your strap, you're getting your thread, you're getting your zip. Uh, you get, no, the zip, that was a good way, isn't it, with the little endy bits, very clever. Uh, your slider, you're getting your D-rings, you're getting your um, boys on top magnets. That's obviously what we're going to have to call it from now on. Uh, and then you get your beautiful fabrics. That's uh, aubergine PU and a beautiful Michael Miller fabric there. Beautiful. Now... If you want the PU aubergine colour by itself, maybe you're going to make more than one of these, then uh, we, we have that. We've, oh, it's actually called maroon, but we've called the whole bundle aubergine. It's just to confuse, it's just to confuse you. Let's have a look at it by itself. This, so if you want this on its own, aubergine, maroon, whatever we would like to call it, basically it's this colour. Makes it easier, doesn't it? This colour, there. You see, because I wouldn't actually know. If I had to order this anywhere, I wouldn't know that I was getting a nice... This is a really beautiful drapey one. Look how soft that is. So six twenty-five per half a metre. It would make a lovely skirt, nice pencil skirt. Ooh. In fact, um, Jennifer Mills, one of our dressmakers, she said that it was soft enough to make a jacket out of. She had her eye on it for a jacket. So that's how soft it is. Because otherwise you'd be like, mm, not able to move. But this is, this is super soft. Now, uh, there we go. So that's available by the half metre. There we go. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Patting obviously makes it better folded, right? So this is all your hard work. This is the thing. We've done the, we've done the hard work, so you don't have to, which means that everything matches. It's all going to work. It's all nice. You know, you don't have to remember that that's called a slider because otherwise I'd be going into a haberdashery going, I want one of those thingamajiggies with the bit in the middle and it just like no idea and then I wouldn't remember what size d-ring I needed to go with my bag handle if I'd actually managed to source the bag they're not even even easy to get uh, so that's the beauty of the of the kit it's everything see we go back to our blue peter analogy nobody had sticky back plastic no one no one uh, now, if you'd like, oh, navy by itself. Yeah, you see, this is the classic, isn't it? Imagine this is a little pencil skirt. Be amazing. Do, 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 do. Uh, so if you want the navy on its own, it's really wide as well, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, it's 140-something, nearly 50. <laughs> there you go, that's the script, isn't it? Nearly, nearly 150 wide, let's say that. £6.25 per half a metre, RDJQ65. Yeah. Um, and we've also got it 
in the green. Are we calling it olive or green? Oh, it's brand new today. It's whatty green? Bottle green. Really? Oh, the sea, well, okay. Um, Producer Hannah thinks a seagrass green. I think a bottle green is being a bit darker. It's not, but, oh, let's have a look at, that's in the bundle, half a meter of that, and your, oh. Now this is the one with the beautiful Amy Butler. That's new fabric from Amy Butler this year. And it's in that bundle. It's not like we're giving you just, you know, like last season stuff, no. Brand new Amy Butler stuff in there as well. Beautiful. From the night music range. It's lovely, isn't it? And very much Amy Butler. Now, if you want this green, I mean, we can argue about its colour, but um, it's green. You see, bottle green. I had a school uniform that was bottle green. Bottle green's got more blue in it. That's yes. Yellow in it. It's more olivey green, I would say. Because yeah. our bottle green school uniform was teamed with a nice orange check shirt. Nice. Yeah, they didn't want anyone to like us, did they? 625 there, JXJQ92. That is a lovely colour. It's quite a warm green, actually. I do like that. Mmm. I like. I like a lot. So that's it by itself, 625 per half a metre. This is what it looks like in bag form. Yeah, there it is. Nice. So what we're going to do next is we're going to box the corners. They're taking the mechanic okay. of me upstairs. Are they? They're Why? Saying, Why don't you just pat the desk tidy, Let's Tesh? pat it. So I've boxed them in here, and what that does is that gives the bag a bit of depth. If we just sewed it across the bottom, it would be a flat bottom. Nobody but by, wants a flat bottom. You don't want a flat bottom. You need a bit of depth to your bottom. That's why we go to the gym. Yes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I was just trying to find it in the instructions. Is this bit here? Yeah. In the instructions here. So here we go. It's that bit where you snip bits out. So I'm going to show have you. Have a quick panic about snipping it out and then sew it up. But Bex is going to show us. This is the joy of bringing these things to life on air. So I'm going to show you on a spare piece of fabric because it's just easier than all of that there. So this is how you do it. Now, when you sew your bag, this is a tip for boxing corners because you cut a square out of your corner and then sew back together. When you sew your side seam and your bottom seam, just mark the corner first. Hang on, how much of that, have I sewn all of my base now? Well, at the moment, up in, we've now put the magnetic clasps in and we've yeah. already sewn down the sides. Yes, we? so the sides are done, but we've left the bottom open. Right, so we now sew the bottom closed of on, the main fabric. Right, not on the... But of the lining, we do the same, but we leave a gap in the middle for turning. Oh, okay. okay. As you would with general Bef bag making. Normally, you would sew the whole thing, but we needed it to be open in order to do this top stitch. Oh, it's a good job, it's your job to write instructions, <laughs> isn't it? But Lovely. when you do a box corner, whether it's for this or anything else, draw the box before you sew the seams. And when you hit the seams, reverse stitch over them. Oh, what a top tip. And I'll show you why in a I minute. I want to have a buzzer or a dinger or something So you sort that. of, when you come down, you go just reverse stitch over where those boxes are. Uh, and I'll show genius. you why. So this is five centimetres square. However big box corner you want is what you cut because the seam allowance will be added to that again. So although... That five centimetres includes that seam allowance. It's still There'll be another be one the other five time. Centimeters. I'm with you. So cut the square out. I know it's scary, but... Bex, do you know what, though? What? This PU is so satisfying to cut. I know, it's it just lovely. It sounds great it's just when like... you cut it. Ah, yeah. It's lovely. Um, anyway, and then... what's a good find, wasn't it, actually? It's, this it's really good. It's, it's amazing. Really good find. It's lovely stuff. Then what you're going to do... Oh, my Lord. This is quite funny. I've seen these the wrong way together. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. Let's pretend I haven't done that. <laughs> so you sew these right sides together. Oh, God, I did this at the weekend very quickly. I like that you can see the contrast. That's quite funny, Lauren isn't it? Lauren says, good morning, girls. Loving the bag. Great instructions and demo. Thanks. I might be tempted to take the lining in a triangle on the outside of the fold. Mm. Could do. Ooh. So let's let's pretend I've seen these right sides together and not wrong, so that's really funny. Let's pretend you did it on purpose yes. to show the difference. Yes, so you can see now. But what yeah. you have to do is you're opening up these seams and pinning them together. Now, if you haven't reverse stitched, then it's this going will to be start coming undone. To, yes. Yeah? So, that's why it's brilliant to do that. And it, it takes a little bit of extra time. So just match up one seam with the other. Okay. Like that. And clip it. Um, I just have to give out a little general message. And that little general message is if 
you were after our so special deal. You know the one with the 24 half meter rainbow fabrics? There is still one person that hasn't checked out. If you do not check out your bag, uh, your basket, then you're going to lose it. You know, someone can ring in and just swoop in. So if you are that person that has it in their basket, so it might not be showing up on the website. If, you know, they might just be sitting there with it because they quite fancied it, but they've gone off shopping or gone for a cup of tea or gone to walk the dog. Not really that serious about it. Somebody could ring up and say they want it and boom, it's theirs. So 800 112 4433. But if you are that person and you haven't gone out to walk the dog and you do actually want it, please check out your basket. There you go. Right, so now I've made sure that this seam matches. Oh, you do like those clips. I love them. Make sure this seam matches. That's really important because when you then finish it, you these, this seam needs to run straight. Oh, right. So the seam must match up. So that's why you've really gone to town with your clips. Yes. So now I've put them together and they are actually right sides together, not like I've done them. Um, you need to Can I just, before that goes just under really there, funny, can I just it? show them? This is why we're giggling because Bex has gone, I'm going to use all the clips. Yeah. All the clips. Lots and lots of clips. Have clips, we'll clip everything. Well, because you've matched the seams and you don't want them to come undone. Does so it that one's the wrong way around? No, not really. Okay. Try and make sure you keep the seams flat and then use your one and a half centimetre seam allowance. And... Off we go. So now you sew all the way across it. And reverse stitch as well. Yeah, to keep for that nice bit of strength. And obviously, if you've done this properly, you would just see the wrong side on this side. Yeah, but you know, we're going to contrast. I was, I just thought of the weekend, oh, I'll do a little extra bit so you can see it better. And he wasn't concentrating. That's right, it. now, once you've sewn across, just snip those little bits off, not too close to stitching, and that'll just help it to lie flat. Oh. For the outer bag, I don't trim these off because I think it just gives it a bit more strength and body. But if, um, if you're doing the lining one, because the lining is done exactly the same way um, clip them off a bit and then you've got a nice box corner which looks multicoloured doesn't it? That's so, I, I quite like it with it's the contrast. There look, you go. <laughs> the contrast. But that will actually look like this when done properly. So that's, uh, we, we, we are quite enjoying the contrast mm. there but uh, actually it will look like mm. Yes, that when you do when it properly. Done properly. So, <laughs> that's quite funny isn't it? So, we all do it, don't we? That's the joy of it, even our pros. Yeah, he great. was really concentrating when she was thinking about it. So now, because I wanted to show you all the different bits, I haven't sewn at the bottom of my bag, so I'm just going to do that. Okay. So we've got, um, how long have we got with Bex? Seven minutes. Oh my Lord. Well, I'm going to sew at the bottom of the bag so you can see what it looks you like. Do that. Which won't take long. Okay. Um, and then you obviously leave the gap in your lining. Yes. It's told you to do that. Otherwise, she, did, she told you in the instructions. Yeah, she's told it, you. I mean, she's I've told, told you, you, and then yeah. in the instructions it tells you. Because if you don't leave a gap in your lining, you'll have to unpick it, which isn't the end of the world. What it's like to be Vex's kids. I've told you. I've told you that. Told so you. I've told you. Now you can do it properly. It is a bit like that. So through the gap in your lining, which if you have stitched up, you'll now have to unpick. Oh, make sure your zip's undone as well. Did we? Oh, that's going to help, isn't it? Did we leave the zip undone? Oh, I don't oh, know. Lord, I don't think we did. So we're going swimmingly this well, morning. Well, I know. That's because, that's because I'm sort of doing it in a funny order so that you can see different bits of it. Yeah. But I didn't leave this in. So do it how Bex tells you in the instructions. Yeah. Do, and in the instructions, it actually says remembering to leave Remembering your, to. But, to leave. look, we've all done this. And um, <laughs> yeah. Hannah says she told you. I told you to undo <laughs> the zip. That's because I zipped it back up to show you the, how the top of it works. You can, you can do it. You, can, you just have to oik it a little bit. Oh, yeah. So, you see, this is just showing you how annoying it is if you don't actually Well, if, yeah, instructions. if you don't follow my instructions... Which leave, are beautifully written, by the way. ...and leave a zip open, you can't open it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Should we have a look at these? Well, you have a little <laughs> That's right. So, I know you say if you must leave it, but, you know, there are, there's always ways around There is things. always a way. There you go. So, leave them a little bit open while Specs wrestles. Yeah, it's quite... It's a good, good solid zip, isn't it? it is oh, a good there zip. we go. Right, so now you turn it right sides out. Yep. Through the gap in the lining. And there you go. You've, You've got, got the beautiful bottom, boxed corners. Bottom of your bag and your lining. Yes. With box corners as well. Yes. And then all you have to do is just hand, well, you can machine stitch it closed, just slip stitch the gap in the lining closed. Yes. And then push it inside your bag. Yes. And then there is your bag, which you then 
attach all the straps to. How do we do that? Well, I'll have to show you all really quickly. Very, very quickly, five minutes. Right, so there's the bag. Looking good. Looking like a bag with no straps now. Yep. With the thingy. More of a sack. More of a sack. So the first thing you do is you cut off from your length. You get three metres of webbing in your kit. It's a lot, isn't it? But you only actually need one and a half metres. So you've got enough to make another bag if you wanted to. Hooray! Okay, so you just cut off eight centimetres of webbing. Okay, turn the ends over. Now this is where it's oh, worth taking on, a bit of on. extra time. Turn the ends over by a centimetre and then I hand stitch these down. You hand stitch Because it. it's okay. really hard to, you've got to fold these round the, the outside of the bag with the D-ring and then machine stitch it. it it's too fiddly. What sort of needle, though, would I use when I hand stitch that? Just a hand sewing needle. Okay. You know? There you go. Hand sewing and needle. And I then used a bit of thread, because the thread in the kit matches the leather, but I wanted a bit that matched that, so I used some from home. Okay. Just a hand sewing needle. And okay. then I sewed those down. Okay. Because it will be neater if you do that. So that's what it's going to look like. That's what yeah. That will be the bit that you see, but that's your gubbins underneath. It presses really well, this stuff. So when you, you turn Does them it? over and press it, yeah, it really and stays. And that's okay. Do you have to use a pressing cloth when you no, press on No, not that? this, no. So that's going to go in there like that. Loop your D-ring inside, one of them. And you actually get four D-rings in the pack. And you're yes, you can... But they come in packs of four, so there we go. That's just the way it is. So on the top right, the top, this corner, the one opposite there would... The high when you look at it, the high one, fold this around there. Oh, so you do it either side? Yeah. So make sure that the centre of that is, in, is on the seam yep. and do it either side. And then you have to stitch it in place. Now, again, I hand stitched this in place first. Did Oh, first. Because you've got to get through this folded layer, that layer, that layer, all the way through. And I, if you hand stitch it on first, then machine stitch it. You'll just get a neater finish. And because once you stitch on this, you'll see the holes. If you need to unpick, you'll see the holes. So get it right. Take a little bit of time to hand stitch it on. Perfect. So I'll um, I'll clip that one on. Oh, so you, you and can your clips. see because I haven't got time to stitch it okay. for you. So I'll clip it. Gosh, clip it on to stitch. But it, if you just hand stitch it on, it's really easy to sew. Okay. Then on the other side. Do I need a different needle on my machine? Well, you can use. I mean, if you've got a jeans needle, brilliant because you've got less chance of breaking it. If you haven't. Please. Oh, you've got... Oh, brilliant. Well, I've always got jeans needles because they're amazing. You don't need it for sewing this, but for sewing this, a jeans needle is fantastic. Basically, when you're going through heavy-duty layers... Yeah, I mean, still, you've got a lot of needle. layers to go through, but I did this on my machine at home using a jeans needle. Mm. It was fine. I stitched slowly. Um, do you know what? It's £2.49. It's not going to break the bank. I Pop it in your it. basket, and then you've got it when you need it, uh, I rather than snapping a needle, and that's a pain. Shall I show you on this one? Yeah. So that's... That's how you sew it on. Oh, you did it in a, in a just, box? Yeah. Just be very careful that your foot doesn't hit the D-ring. But I just sewed it in a box. There you go. Nice. Bex, thank you. We're out of time, <gasps> would you believe? And then you just sew the other one on the other side. Perfect. Job done. Job done. But it's all in the instructions, so you it's don't need all that it, yeah. anyway. Just follow those instructions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're only in for an hour today, are right, Just an hour. Just an hour. Did Two you... Oh, uh, someone says, can we just see the snail again? Yes. Oh, and they want to know, do you have a name for your snail? No. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> oh dear, Sydney. Sydney the snail. Sydney the snail tape measure. Whee! I just love we him. We love him. Because he's crocheted as well. He is. <laughs> and the little button is hidden under his mm. crochet goodness. It's just a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> she really loves him. Uh, the sheep is also rather cool. There you go. I'll give it back to you because I know that you love him. Mm. Yeah, he's mine, so you can't have that one. Yeah, you buy, might your have mentioned that. <laughs> buy your own. Buy your own. Buy your own. Buy your own. I love mine. Thank you. Um, just a quick question. Mm. Just this isn't. Uh, did mm. you bring another cake today? No, no, oh. I didn't. I had too much. Bex to carry. the best. <laughs> <laughs> Only cakes on some days, but not today. Maybe next week. It was a great. Big, it was a big fat cake. Beautiful fair last mm. time. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> it's okay. No cake. Disappointed. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Bundles. So the bundle that Bex was working with is the aubergine, and the PU isn't actually called aubergine, we just called the bundle aubergine. You can buy the PU separately, it's called maroon. There you go. Now, here we go. So that'll go down the bottom if you want that by itself. But the whole kit, including instructions, including your thread, your haberdashery, your webbing, uh, your zip, 
everything. Half a meter of your PU, half a meter of your beautiful Michael Miller, which is stunning. More of you have this in your basket than we have available. You know what that means? Check it out. $34.99 for that NNGC32. $34.99. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And as Beck says, you get double the D-rings, double, double the webbing, so you part way towards making the next one. There you go. Uh, and the instructions, so you can just do it again. Brilliant. So let's have a look at the Navy. This is the classic. I feel like the navy one has been left out a little bit too, producer Hannah, so let's make a fuss of it now. This is your classic navy. So if you're ever wondering, well, you know, what colours, this goes with everything. And if you want the PU by itself, then it is available by the half metre, which means you can get loads. Which means, actually, you can buy another half a metre, ready to make your next one, and then pop in whatever lining you want. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, the lovely red, navy and red, perfect combination. Beautiful. And then we've also got for your delight, we're calling it bottle green. It's not bottle green. It's more of an olive green. Is that one? I'd even push khaki. I wouldn't say bottle, but it's green. And we got this for you just to do this. And then, of course, in your bundle, you're also getting this season's brand new Amy Butler. Love that. Your zip. Your thread, your haberdashery, it's all in there. There we go. It's all in there. We've taken the guesswork out of it. So you're not having to worry about, well, is it 25 mil or a 30 mil D-rig? I don't know. It's coming with it. Who cares? It's just coming with it. Now, the bottle green PU by itself is down the bottom there. It's £6.25. That is brand new today, which is excellent. So NX GC99, please make sure... Uh, that you have everything that you need checked out and done because, again, otherwise some of you are going to miss out, and I would hate that to be the case. So please make sure that you get exactly what you want. Now, after the break, not only is Lucy Brennan back with something fabulous, um, we're going to do a spot of quilting, but also we will announce yesterday's winner of the prize draw, which is a bit fabulous, so don't go anywhere. Oodles more to come. Grab yourself a quick cuppa. And I think we've got like three minutes or something. See you in a minute. Join us on Wednesday the 7th of February when we're thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family with her debut show. Tula Pink's fabric designs are inspired by her love of animals and nature and she enjoys hiding animal characters in unusual places in her illustrations. Her bold use of colour and patterns makes her fabrics a joy to quilt and sew with. Tula also has her own range of tools to add a special touch to your workroom. Her biggest fans include our own designers Lucy Brennan and Joe Carter. Like many people around the world, they're inspired by her gorgeous fabrics, so we can't wait to reveal these exciting prints and accessories. So join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday the 7th of February. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. got into quilting about 10 years ago now. All the fabrics I'd used up until then, sort of patterned fabrics were always really standard stripes or spots. And then to discover all the prints that were really out there and then to find Tudor Pink, um, I instantly loved everything she did, her work, um, the illustrations within the print are amazing, but then also you have all the colours she uses, they're so bold and vibrant. And to find somebody that can blend the two, the illustration and the colour, I just think her work is so inspirational. She's one of those designers, I look at her fabric and immediately want to create something with it and want to, to begin making. A lot of the things I've made with my Tula stash have been gifts for other people. So these cushions were a gift for my mum this Christmas. Um, I absolutely love this range of fabric. Her designs are whimsical, but with an edge. If they're not cutesy, um, and all the details in this fabric I particularly loved, and so did my mum. So she got these for Christmas. And because I loved it so much, I am also working on a quilt version of it for me, which hopefully will be done by this coming Christmas. Join Tula for her Sewing Quarter debut on Wednesday the 7th of February. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. 
As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. Happy birthday, sewing quarter, and thank you to all the viewers for watching, and I've enjoyed showing you the tips and teaching you as the years gone on and many more years to follow. We're celebrating our birthday this week with eight amazing competitions and all you have to do for a chance to win is shop with us at Sewing Quarter. When you make your next purchase at Sewing Quarter from Wednesday the 31st of January until the 7th of February, you'll automatically be entered into our daily prize draw. The amazing prizes change every day and include stunning fat quarters, patterns, books, storage bags and tools. And that's not all. We're finishing the birthday week with a mega bundle of goodies to be won, worth over £700! Everyone who has shopped with us and spent over £30 during our special birthday week will be entered into a draw to win a final prize. An Elna Lotus sewing machine, plus reams of fabric, prim accessories, storage and so much more. So join us for the celebration from Wednesday the 31st of January on Sewing Quarter and be in with a chance to win. Good luck. Welcome back. Now, of course, birthday week is about to end, but tomorrow we've got fabulous Tula Pinkin, which is just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. One of my favorite designers, and she's gonna be in the studio with John having a riot. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, um, more things for you. So, yesterday, of course, everybody that bought something yesterday went into a prize draw, and the winner, shall we have a look what they're winning for? Oh, no. Well, it's all in. Let's see. So the winner from yesterday's bundle is Kathleen Silcock. Congratulations. You are getting all of those dressmaking goodies. Brilliant. Brilliant. So congratulations. Now, everybody that has bought today is going to go into a prize draw to get all of this. So you've got your bag book, you've got your bag, you've got your tilde fabric, you've got um, other fabric in there. Just stunning. Beautiful. Bit of a birthday bonanza gift there. Lovely. Now, okay, next up is this. This is what we're making this hour. Now, you see, we're sticking with the Tudor theme, aren't we? Because this came out of one of the magazines. And look, can you see that central square there? It's one of Tula's ladies, and uh, this is from the Marie Antoinette range, and she's got a ship on her head. It's a great big boat. When does a boat become a ship? I don't know. We're not making it out of these fabrics because we didn't have all these fabrics, but what we've done is give... Oh, look, do you want to see the other version that we've got? Because we've, So we've gone with greens and reds, but also we've given you sort of a monochrome -y bundle too so that you can make this close as we could get to this one. Isn't it beautiful? So two different takes on a beautiful, beautiful quilt. Now let's start with the monochrome as I had that in my hand last. Here it is. So we've put beautiful Tim Holtz fabric. We love a bit of Tim Holtz and the damask that he has is just exquisite. You get a meter of the damask. This is one of my all time favorite fabrics really love it so that is your meter fabric and then the others you get a half meter of so all of your sort of natural shades you're getting a half a meter of but it's really stunning so there are all your macaws 100% cotton and then your meter is your Tim Holtz plus your thread plus full instructions plus your wadding it's all coming 
all coming together for 48 pounds. Beautiful. You will have enough to make this mini quilt plus oodles left over. Possibly two tops. Possibly, yeah. Now, and so you could be able, if you're going for that one, then that's the closest funnel that we have to making that. Brilliant. Now, next one, let me put that delicately down there. Now, there are two green bundles. The only difference is in the floral. So with both of the greens, you're going to get a half a metre of your citrus and... Um, of, hang on, let me just show you these. Of all of your greens and your linen and all of those. So they are going to be the same in both of the bundles. So this one that I've picked up has got the beautiful floral. This is from, oh, this is another Pat Bravo design. It's all about art gallery fabrics today, isn't it? And so that could be, that beautiful bouquet there could be your central square. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. And of course, then all those different greens are picked out, the greens and the yellows picked out with the greens that we've put with it. It's all been thought through, you know, a lot of time and effort with, uh, goes into, into these bundles with Wendy and Adele. They make all these things happen. Uh, now, the other green bundle, so exactly the same greens and citrusy shades, um, and of course your thread and your wadding and your instructions, that's a given, but this is your, uh, your different, your variety, your different fabric. Lovely. Very nice. So it's just personal choice, which do you prefer? And that's for $42.99. And that is a, that's from the same floral range from Art Gallery Fabrics. Nice. Very nice. Right. Let's give you another choice. Google's a choice today. Um, and this is the red choice. Now, you are getting a half a metre of your botanical red from Tilda. Nice. Look at... Oh, upside down. Don't look yet. Now look, look! There, so that central square could be one of those, oh, gorgeous. These are like, you know that you can get those exquisite line drawings, botanical line drawings. It's that sort of feel on this. Just beautiful. Um, we don't have loads and loads and loads of that one, but that's just because we're limited on, on what stock of our tilde we have left because we're getting ready for the next range to come in. Then you get a half a metre of your linear a half a metre of your red, a half a metre, more tilde. Very nice. And then a half a metre of your spots. Beautiful. There you go. And then one more bundle for you. Oh, now you see, this is a really pretty one too. Um, Lucy, there are pinches behind you on the shelf. Now, the evergreen. Oh, with the bees. Now... Oh, beehive. Honey and bees. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that a lot. Bees very on trend. We need bees, don't we? So there we go. That's your bees. Well, without bees, we wouldn't have honey. We wouldn't have flowers. We wouldn't have anything, really. So here we go. And then you've got that fabric in there. Half a metre of that. So a metre of your, um, your bluey grey that we just had. Half a metre of that. Half a metre then also of your spot on yellow, spot on grey, and your linear in there, and your thread, and, 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 and everything. I'm going to come over and take this over here. Lucy <laughs> Brennan. <laughs> Fancy seeing you again. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now, I'm going to pop that there. And um, would you just like to tell us about the designer while I go and grab the other quilt? Okay. The... Um, Designer is Nicole Calver, and um, she made this mini quilt for Love Patchwork and Quilting. <gasps> Ooh. Uh oh, no, you're all right. Not too disturbed. It's fine. Um, and the monotone one as well. Um, and she's Canadian. Right. She lives in Canada. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I said it. <laughs> Canada. Um, and she's lovely and incredibly talented. And this is a really clever design because of the way that it's It's a bit of an together. optical illusion, it isn't is. it? It is. Yes. Beautiful. It is. There you go. 
Thank you, Lucy. Right. You see, since our challenge, I know you can do this presenting I cannot. Bit. No, I can't Wait do it. Wait a little stab. Go on. I accept I cannot do it. Oh, I think you're great at it. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, I've been told to put that over there. Okay. So it's not getting in our way. But okay, we can well, I might refer to it, it actually. So okay, right, I might right, pull okay. it over. Right. Just, you know, Get to mess one. things up slightly. Um, because this is essentially a nine patch. Yeah, not quite sure how that happens, but yeah, it so is. It's made up of three different blocks okay. that you piece together. So that, although that central section looks like a square with um, borders. It's so it isn't because well i mean it looks like one but it's actually this square here makes up the central part of the nine patch it's very it's clever. very very clever yes so i'm going to show you how this goes together and it's beautifully quilted i might just add yeah no it is it's very isn't it? beautifully very quilted. very yeah. gorgeously done okay. so that if you've seen you might have seen that exact one in the magazines we're going to show you how to make our take on it. Exactly. So I'm still using those uh, lovely fresh green um, colours, but pairing it with more of the um, floral. So all of the cutting instructions obviously are in the um, pattern and you've got step-by-step -step guide for every um, section, every part that you need. So um, you want to decide which fabrics go where. You don't have to necessarily do it in this um, arrangement that I'm doing. If you wanted to mix, mix them up and have them in different places, that's absolutely fine. Um, I've kept it uh, quite similar to the um, original one that Nicole made. So um, rather than having the um, face in the centre, I've gone for the floral. So what I did was I just... Um, looked at the pattern and picked out one of the large um, florals and fussy cut that as my it central square. It lends itself to it, doesn't it? It does. It's a great excuse to really crack out those big, bold fabrics. So for $42.99, this is, this is the bundle that we've got on our main graphics with these beautiful, beautiful florals in there. Striking, isn't it? It feels so lovely. <laughs> yeah, again, we were saying this about, this is art gallery fabrics. This is from one of their floral ranges. And again, um, these designs, absolutely beautiful, but it's in that feel, that texture of the fabric. That's where this really is so exquisite. It just feels so soft. It yes, it is a quilting weight, but what art gallery fabrics really pride themselves in is that actually their quilting fabrics can be used for dressmaking because that substrate, that base fabric is so soft. Um, and, just, and also, um, because of how soft that, that is, the print doesn't bleed. Yeah, so you no. get a real crisp image and that's image even. Yeah, and you yeah. can, you know, it's a really, really fine thread that it's woven with. Mm. You really do feel that feel that quality. Yeah, they it's a really use a very nice... specific type of cotton for this. Yeah, they do, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to start off with that central square. And the thing you want to bear in mind is that in the finished um, quilt, it's going to be set on point. So rather than cutting, a, oh, cutting yes, it course. square mm -hmm. with, you know, so where the stem would be going this way, you want to cut it on point. So it would be this way up in the final. And that's what we mean by on point kind of. Yes. So like it, rather than a square, it's a diamond. Okay, So that's beautiful. on point. So in the, in the final setting, that's how it's going to um, appear. Okay. So then it's just building up your central section. And for that, we use um, squares. Okay. So I'm doing the, um, I'm going to mark lines diagonally mm. across the squares. And we're going to sew those to either side. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. Okay. I'm using my favorite brown pen which I love. It's uh, Joe Carter's favourite oh, brand. Oh, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time. Um, oh, uh, somebody's asked, how large will the finished quilt be? A 24-inch square. That's a okay. nice size. It is, isn't and it? And there's no reason to, to stop at one, you know, if you wanted to make more so and, and build it rocks. up. Yes. And I if think... you think about the repeat, sorry, Tash, if you think about the repeat there, you join this one to the next one, you're going to end up with those diamonds. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. 
it would be really pretty. But for me, this is especially if you've got that beautiful central square on point, then actually it's going to be a beautiful one to hang. This, yeah. this for yeah. me says wall hanging quilt. That's what yeah. this says. But again, as Lucy says, you know, you've got plenty of fabric there, so you might want to do an additional one or whatever. Do it in different colours. But it's it's just ever so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, and de it is. decoratively as well, I think these are lovely. You know, this is sort of a lovely size to have on a side table yes. or, you know, yes. something like that if you wanted to use Where it Where you can really appreciate way. it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, then I'm just going to be positioning them and sewing on the line. And we're going to trim this away and fold it back. Okay, so okay. we sew on the line, not quarter of an inch either side. Oh, can we just show that? Yes, sorry. So on. <laughs> I'm too eager to get sewing. There you go, on that line. I've been watching um, A Stitch in Time. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's about, uh, they've taken works of art. and then, Yeah, while well, you say yeah. that. And, um, and they've recreated how those, how those costumes would have been made. Um, back in the day ah. with traditional techniques Sorry, which has been strange. it's been really beautiful but it's just it's always sometimes you just can't quite see how they're doing the stitching so yeah and I suddenly realized that actually we do really take the time to try and show you exactly how we stitch and where we stitch and I hadn't realized just quite how hard we try to do that for no. you um it's only when it's not done that you go oh yeah Yes. Yeah. What, did, what was that yeah, bit? Didn't quite see it. Um, so I've just changed over the foot, sorry, because um, I don't what like... What were we on? What was it? It was a quarter inch foot. Okay. Which I like when I'm sewing seams, but when I'm going over the fabric, I find it very often will catch. Um, oh, okay. So I don't like doing that. And also I'm sewing straight on the line with this one anyway, so I don't actually need to use the quarter inch foot. So. I'm just going to take my stitch length down a little bit because I'm piecing. Oh, we've done that for you, Hannah. It's a finished 24 inch quilt. Oh, okay. So, right. Producer Hannah just had to run off and ask a question because um, we were asked. Originally, we were asked what size. It's a 24-inch finished quilt. But then Norma then asked, good morning, ladies. Would it be possible to use this mini quilt as the centre of a large quilt? Well, yes, absolutely, because the repeat will be beautiful. You'll get those diamonds as the repeat. It'll be absolutely gorgeous. Or you might want to do borders of a, you know, sachet. Or That's your design. Exactly your design. It depends how you want to do it, but you will get an awful lot of fabric left over with this. So of course you can do more, but this was designed as a mini quilt. What you choose to do when you get at home, it's totally up to you. That's the fun of it. It is. Don't do what I've done. What have you which done? I've just realized that I'm losing most of the florals as I'm saying this. So my centre diamond is going to end up a bunch of leaves, but they're still pretty. Which is a look. They're still pretty. So I'm just obviously going to go with it. So, um, what you want to do when you're doing this technique of folding back, see that? Lovely leaves in the centre Well, there. then it suddenly looks like but uh, they are, peacock feathers. But they are pretty. Let's go with that. So what you want to do is you want to sew either side um, and then trim back, press these, and then do the same. Uh, Lucy, the I've been gone a couple of days and someone's changed my plug. Is this on? I don't have yes, a switch. Yes, someone's changed the plug. Changed yeah, the it's plugs. just on. I, I just thought exactly the same thing, but I think we need a um, mat. Oh, no, it's all right. Floor manager Chris apparently broke the plug, so he had to change it. He's off today. He is. Doesn't know his own strength. No. Nope. Rugby playing type chat. <laughs> Clearly, just plug wasn't a match for him. But I think that means it's on. Have we got a mat, though? Oh, have we got an ironing? No. No. <laughs> Could we get <laughs> one of those? Iron on that would anything. be helpful. No. I'll just give it a finger press for okay. now. It's all going swimmingly, isn't it? It is. I suspect I've had too much coffee, but anyway. <laughs> I, I'm, we will I'm not carry gonna, on. I'm, I'm not going to blame this on you. Fine. There we go. So then we're sewing. Um, you'll see how that's going to overlap. Oh, no. Hang on. So where do you line that up with? Do you line So that you're up with lining the it up with the outer corner. Because I'd be having a panic because it's overlapping the other one, but and that's you, okay. You... You want to make sure these are pressed back and they're not going to catch when you're sewing, but it's overlapping by a quarter of an inch so that when you come to sew, you're not losing your points. Okay. Okay. So if you're, when you come to sew this, if you're thinking, oh, hang on, it's over, you know, it's overlapping. Is that wrong? No, that's actually right. And that's how it should be done. 
Uh, Should we just give that a look? By the magic of television. Oh, ta -da! Do you know, I wish this happened at home when I just needed something. <laughs> you know, wouldn't that be marvellous? Wouldn't that be amazing? Someone I just, just need... comes in. Could you just... Shake <laughs> it to you like that. Just fabulous. That would be so nice. Oh, there's that... lots of steam Ooh. there. Uh, hang on, how do I... Well, we've got a new iron as well. This is what Ooh. happens. Maybe we need to have a little break more often, get all new things from it. No, that's in. just it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm always a little bit worried. Thank you. Because where I used to work, they used to have... Um, their their um, fire alarms used to go off if you had the steam on. So always right, yeah. slightly nervous. Yeah. The other thing to just think about when you're doing this, it is surprisingly easy to start sewing which you would do it that way if you were making like flying geese but we're not for this not just today have a think about it and then um so how big is that central square going to end up being oh now i've asked you i oh, know now you've asked me well we've got another uh, this round it's going to be eight and a half but we're going right. to add another well, it was only uh, that I was just thinking maybe you it. could um, cut out a piece of plastic, sort of eight and a half, and so or get a, a little eight and a half inch ruler or something, so you could see where you want that central piece to be. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely, you can do. I mean, you can do, you can use your ruler to to um, see it. You just want to think about the the angle. Now, the most popular one this morning. Da, 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 is the one based on this one, uh, which I mean, so we don't have these exact fabrics because this this was done for the magazine, and then we try and find the closest that we can to it for you. So we've whacked in Tim Holtz, not actual Tim, <laughs> his fabric, his very beautiful fabric, and that's our natural evergreen mini quilt. Don't be distracted by the fact it's called evergreen. That's just the design. It's, it's not. It's the natural colour with the beautiful Tim Holtz damask. It's got to be one of my all-time favourite fabrics. Is it? No, yeah. I know I'm not allowed really to have fabric favourites, but of course you, know. you are. Thank yes. See, yes, you are. I am. Yes, you yes, are. I am. Well, everybody's is going to be different, isn't it? Well, you it? see, and when I used to do a lot of paper crafting, Tim Holtz was one of my favourite yes. paper crafts as well. Yeah. Oh, he's such a clever designer. I have a project coming up tomorrow where you could mix those two loves. Just what? saying. What? Yes, I We're do. I'm not in. Going no. On. I'll show you because you'll really love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys have to watch tomorrow. I'm going to get a sneaky creep. Um, do you know what I'm thinking here? What are you thinking? Well, if we're harking back to papercraft, whenever yes. I made a mistake, we always used to whack a flower on it. Yes. So you could make a it's flower. Good idea. And just you, if you're going to have this as a central piece, yeah. then you could, you know, we've got Kanzashi flower folding books. You could make some flowers and embellish. You could, or you could embroider it or add some beads or something. I now realise what you were talking about, about the square. So it's about five and a half. For that central piece. That so central just make piece. sure that whatever is going to be in the middle yeah. is going to be five and a half inches for that central piece. I didn't really think about that. No, I just okay. got, I was just got carried away by the florals. <laughs> yeah. It's also pretty. It's also pretty. So it's still pretty. And I think sometimes there's a big emphasis right now on fussy cutting, which is great and an awful lot of fun. It's lovely to be able to take a motif of a fabric, yes. repeat, you know, do all kinds of wondrous things with it. But sometimes I don't think there's anything wrong with just going slightly off track. It's a design And having choice. things be a little bit asymmetrical. So there we go. So then we're just repeating it using smaller squares. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to do the same thing with two and a half inch squares yeah, so and just sewing. Gone, oh, that's not what I thought. It's not, is it? It's not what you it's think. It's not what you think, but it's, it's great. It's not what you think. So it's very, very clever. I like a new method. Although it'd still be clever if it was what you thought, but it's just... It's a different form of clever. It's a different form of clever. Neither one is right or wrong. It's just different and fabulous. And then when you're doing it this way, because these are smaller and they're not going to be overlapping because we're just doing it in the corners, you can just work your way round. You don't have to do opposites and then... Oh, Do you see what I mean? Like we, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. like we did the first time. Because yes. that's... Can we just, should we just show that's that overlapping bit that I was talking about that's going to give us the quarter inch? That gives you a quarter inch there. Don't worry about that because that's not going to happen now with your, your deeper green. Yes, exactly. So we're not going over anything. Hey, and that happens on every corner. 
Yeah, every corner's the same. It's very clever. It's uh, nice when you're doing the cutting <laughs> as well, because it's quite, you know, it's all quite straightforward. It's just rectangles and squares. Um, Helen has emailed in. Good morning, Helen. She's absolutely beginning to quilting. Welcome. Oh, how easy would this project be? It's perfectly doable for a beginner. Okay. There's really, really clear, you know, uh, Nicole's instructions are ever so clear. Um, just read through it, watch this back if, you know, if you need to, so yeah. you, can, you can see, because sometimes having it visually done is different from just a, a photograph. But there are um, actual photographs of, of the different steps mm -hmm. um, and then written instructions as well. Oh, so. Bex Reader's done a bit, hasn't she? I'm assuming it's Bex being a technical editor, our guest that was on last hour, to make this all come to life with full instructions. So she takes the instructions from the designers and then adds photos and this, that and the other and makes it so that it's step by step, easy to follow and really rather fabulous. And if you're wondering what Nicole looks like, <laughs> wonder no more because there she is. Well, sort of like a, it's quite, quite a striking half pose, sort of half face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think she's got a quilt behind her. Nice. Just to Pretty. show that she is a quilter. That she is a quilter. Just in case we were in any, any, any um, yeah. doubt. <laughs> she's a modern quilter. Winner of Survivor 2014. Oh, yeah. Who knew that was a thing? What's Survivor? Yeah, it was a competition. I'm not sure if it was uh, just America. I don't, I don't, or Canada, excuse me. That's brilliant. Is that like our Great British Sewing Bee? I think, it, Are you yeah. The survivor. Yes. <laughs> See, I should have done the voiceovers for that. <laughs> well, I'm, no, I'm just, you know, it was a, a dramatic voice. So when you're trimming the, you know, doing it with this method, you have got um, leftover pieces. Um, it, you can just, as you've cut them, you can just sew along yes. and end up with some um, half square triangles Extras that you can then you use can in another with. project. Yeah, yeah, I've got a whole box full of things that. Goodness knows whether or not the sizes all match. At some point, no, it doesn't there matter. will be... You can just sew it all together yeah. in an improvised fashion. I Absolutely quite like fine. that. Sometimes I like just doing things by chance, so I have happy accidents yes. everywhere. Yeah. So sewing. that just needs a press, and then that's our central section done. Okay. So that's the um, centre of that uh, nine patch. So then we're moving on, and um, we're going to take... And you can see here, I haven't been particularly fussy, but this, you're going to cut this one in half anyway. Okay. So I don't think you need to worry too much about. So we're running with about. that theme. <laughs> we're going with it today. That's, that's what it's all about. Yay. Um, and this one we're building up um, to make it into a square. So we're just adding um, borders to this one. Okay. Oh, so you're, you're creating that border just straight lines done yes so i've just changing i'm not going to change the foot i'm keeping the clay foot but i've changed there's a stitch setting on this machine for a quarter of an inch so it's moved my needle over okay i'm going to say actually lucy i i like it off center with just the green going through the middle i appreciate you saying that Tasha. well no it looks like it's growing I'm going to rename it Jack and the Beanstalk. Growing. It's a vine. Just as J Tim, said, a vine Tim look. said it as well. He said, oh, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. It is, isn't it? It well could be. It would be lovely colours. for somebody that likes gardening. Yes. <laughs> they like leaves. They don't really like flowers, though. Not so much. They just like the greenery. Just the leaves. It's fresh. It's fabulous. Okay, so I'm just going to press this and I'm pressing the seams away from the central square. Okay. She says. See, I like these leaves because they remind me a bit of peacock feathers, and I'm a big fan of a peacock feather. Yeah. Well, they're not meant beautiful. to have the peacock feathers in the house, are you? It's meant to be unlucky. It depends which culture. Oh, really? In some cultures it's lucky, and in other cultures it's unlucky. So, do we know which? Depends which one. Or do we just. I'm not entirely sure, and I don't want to say anything. Maybe it wrong. cancels <laughs> each other out <laughs> so that it's all okay. But I have heard, I've heard people tell me not to have them in my house, and then other people say have them in the house. So. Do you like having umbrellas? Possibly, or although I don't know that uh, that's good luck anyway, is it? <laughs> to have it open. No. No. Oh, yeah. I will just say when I'm adding, um, I'll show you, when I'm adding the side strips to make a square, mm -hmm. so I've done 
those sides then, and this is essentially the top and bottom. Rather than sewing it this way, mm. I like to sew it this way so I can make sure that those seams stay in place. Okay. It's easier a lot of the time if you can sew, it's not always possible, but if you can sew seams up, it just makes it that, that Seems bit, sensible to me. That bit easier so you're not going to catch them as you're um, sewing. Uh, which bit of the quilt are we actually doing? Right um, we're doing these corner um, these bits here. You see, this is it's it's a strange make because it's not quite how you think it's going to be. And I was just looking at it, going, "Hey, which bit are we actually doing? We're doing like the butterfly wings of it. I don't know if they're actually called butterfly wings, but you can just make it up. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to pick a random word. <laughs> but that's the bit we're doing at the moment. Nice, isn't it? You see, it's a bit of a magical mystery quilt this one because it's not all as it appears. It's not, and actually, she has used a lot of um, you know clever piecing techniques that aren't just completely straightforward. Yes. You, there would be other ways of making this up, which actually would be more complicated in terms of if you were having to sew triangles and things. But the fact that she's using squares and building it up in this way mm -hmm. does make it accessible. And, and it's really fun to sew as well, because you're not just doing the, the same thing. That's why she's the Survivor winner. Yes. I want to know what Survivor is now. We should, we should have one here. I've had enough of sewing competitions for right now. Oh, but you won! <laughs> you that won. wore me out. <laughs> you absolutely won, you nailed it. So then just repeating that on that side. Oh, well, this is good. Do you then chop it in half? Yes. Well, not yet, oh, no. no. Okay. I'm getting ahead There's of myself. There's another step before you do that. I'm trying to guess, without looking in the instructions. This is vital. Don't, don't, yeah, no, it is a fun game if you're not actually doing the sewing. Uh, it's not such a fun game if you're the one that's bought the fabric. Uh, it, follow the instructions. That's true. At home, watch the show. Don't just guess ahead like me. No, but I'll give you a clue. Do you a, mind pressing that for me, please? Getting a right old pickle. And then I'm going to take a square of the background fabric, which is the cream linear, which is a lovely one. Yeah. And I'm going to draw a diagonal line on the back. Okay. Producer Hannah, it's, you can tell it's the 11 o'clock hour because Producer Hannah's just gone, ooh, pickles. Pickles. We all start <laughs> getting really hungry, don't we, at this producer point? Producer Hannah. Oh, she likes gherkins. Was, yeah. Is that not the same thing? I think, no? pretty much. I think it's the same. Maybe I'm wrong because I don't like them. She could so just eat them. I wouldn't them. touch it with a barge pole. Um, can you guess now? Yes, beautiful. What I, am I think doing? we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of the line. And then we're going to chop down the middle of the line. Well done, Boom. Natasha. That's exactly what Yay! we're going to do. Yay! It's almost like I've paid attention over the last year, isn't it? So just make sure occasionally it's all even. And then yeah. you can pin. Obviously, I don't. But Obviously, you don't. You yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't. Um, but, you know, pin uh, your pieces in place. And then we're just, again, sewing um, a straight line. Nice. Oh, no, we're not. We're sewing we are sewing a straight line, but we're doing it a quarter of an inch away. Nice. Don't do as I just did. It's so easy to do that. Well, because the line's there and because you've just been doing yeah, that. Yeah, because I've been doing it. So pay attention and just sew either side of your line. Now, a little tip when you're doing this, even if you have a very, very fine line, so even if you've drawn it with a pencil, I like to use the brown pen just because okay. it's quick and easy. Yeah. Um, but when you're doing this, you want to um, go to the opposite side of the line. Does that make sense? So don't line up the line with the very, very edge of your foot, okay? Just have the edge of the foot going slightly on the other side of the line. So it's scant? So it's scant. Oh. That's going to keep, it's it's not quite scant, it's oh. almost scant. But by doing oh, that, a bit it, technical. yeah, but almost by doing that, it just scant. means your pieces are gonna come out at the right size because it's very easy to over do you know what I mean? To go over and have too big of a yes. seam. So you just want to do that to make your seam do ever this. so slightly smaller. Seems to make sense to me. Ah, ha, ha. That was producing hammers too. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think she's... I would have thought that I'm was... Not... I would have guessed that was Paul if I didn't no, know no, who I was know. producing. No, no, I know. It just feel like a producer Paul. So I've done one side. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. Do you know what happens with producer Paul? Because you, you don't have an earpiece like I do. Thank goodness. When... <laughs> When producer Paul has a, a 
I realise that John calls him Little Paul. Yes. But yes. but being really tall, I always feel like I'm kind of patronising him if I call him <laughs> Little Paul. Paul. Yeah. Um, he doesn't really like it. So I call him Producer Paul. But when he has a joke, and they're always awful, he would just keep oh saying them in my yes. ear and keep awful. saying them and keep saying it. It's like he How batters me down that? until, until I say it. So there we go. So now I have two of those because I just cut on the line. Yes, on the line. On the line. And then we can just press that. I mean, I realise this is the light side, but if you press it back that way, it's you're going to have bulk. too much bulk from Let all those seams. So press, if you give it a press that way. Now, you see, director Tim, who works with Paul a lot, has said if Paul was here today, he would, do you know what he'd be saying? I don't Unbelievable. Know. Oh, that's one yes, of his. That's one yeah. of his favourites. Unbelievable! Like a, Every time that's there's like a, a catch leaf, phrase, yeah. isn't it? And we do a lot of prints with leaves. Unbelievable! So we have to listen to that. Yeah, a lot. All the time. Yeah. Okay, so the next. It's his little intricacy. Yeah. The next thing we need to do is square these up to four and a half inches. So I'm going to give you a little tip um, for doing that with this, because to keep all that symmetry and keep everything nicely geometric and, and yes. straight lines is you need to have this point here be in the center okay i keep, mean be keep pointing yeah yeah, there. yeah yeah be in the center that when it's squared off so you want this in line with that but you don't want to trim from just one side okay because then this seam isn't in the right place yes so you need to keep this seam in the right place and you need to keep that point central diagonally as well okay okay so in order to do that and I know I talk about these a lot, but if you use um, a Creative Grids ruler, yes. it handily has a 45 degree line that runs through the corner. Do you see that's just one more reason why we love them? So, Quite and it has it on sorry. both sides of the ruler. So it has it on the half inch side and it has it on the full inch yes. side, okay? which not all rulers do. But what's great about it is I can line up my four and a half inch marks on the diagonal seam. Nice. And then I can line up the 45 degree line running through that point there. Nice. So I know when nice. this is squared nice. up, that is going to run perfectly um, diagonally. Yes. Yes? Yes. So I'm going to trim these now. Happy days. So it's only, you know, it's only uh, uh, fractionally. You so sharpened that blade this morning. It's good, isn't it? It is good. Well done. Thank yeah, no, you. Yeah, that's all right. We see floor manager Chris is having a is having a little holiday, so um, I was trying I was trying to help Wayne out this morning, our floor manager this morning. So I went to get one, and then the little dish where the uh, where, there were six of them. Oh my goodness! Oh, we don't need six. We just need one with a blade that's sharp. Well, we sometimes do, because I'm sometimes sewing out there, aren't I? So I yeah, have not one. six of them. You're not like, you know, <laughs> no, some kind of true. octopus sewer, Do you know why we probably have six from when we did the sew-off? Oh, they probably. might have just thought everybody just needs give them all, one. Just give yeah. them all one. It's all fine. <laughs> but I meant I didn't know which one actually had a sharp blade in, so I just no. sharpened it. Thank it's very you. very satisfying, actually. I haven't used the sharpener. I'll have Ooh, to learn my own time. Got like ceramic sharpening bits. It's very clever. So you just square those off. So you square those off, making sure that the diagonal's running that way and the line's running through that triangly bit. Nice. Okay, so that's all um, rubbish that's left. Okay. And then what we're going to do is piece these with um, some background squares. Okay, so we're creating a four patch now. Building up, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that will become like that. one of your nine patches. And that patches. becomes the corner section oh, um, of the mini quilt. So that is clever. There's some that I've already done. Okay, so that's just a straightforward four patch. I've got time to sew that quickly. Um, Rosemary, if you're after our magazine subscriptions, go to the website. You can click on there. There's all the magazine subscription details there for you. It's 50% off for the first year and then 40% off for the next year's subscription cracking value there uh, but if you're in any doubt whatsoever or in, in any way confused or can't find it on the website whatever give our customer services call a ring uh, team a call even i haven't mentioned them today i like to mention them because they're a jolly nice bunch and also they're there 24 hours a day so you can ring any time of the day or night 
I don't think it's like the same people. I mean, like, they go home and have a rest. <laughs> we, do. we do let them out because, you know, it would be illegal <laughs> otherwise. Um, but they're ever so sweet and uh, it's free to ring them. We don't charge you for that. Which is Some fantastic. Some places charge you like 13 pence a minute. It's unbelievable. It is. We don't do that. Uh, it's free. And it's in the UK as well. Yeah. So it's all good. I like that. You see, I've been awake since one o'clock this morning. Couldn't go back to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You see, I could have rung them up, had a chat. Nobody else would have <laughs> Like, I mean, generally, you know, ring just up to, like, order. Them. Yeah, just, you know, because somebody else in the world needed to also be awake at that hour. So I, I sewed the rose, and then I'm just sewing this together. So I've nested that um, seam there okay. in the in the centre, and I've just put a pin at the end. Diagonally, diagonally pinning. Diagonally yeah. pinning. Yeah, no, I diagonally pin um, wherever I nest a seam because it holds it in place, front and back, and you just get nicer points. There it is. I'm so we'll bad at that. <laughs> Sorry. There. I just want to sew, so I'm like that. <laughs> so speedy. Thank you. Uh, Heather says, love watching you both together. My grandma's favourite saying, do, uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. Yes, Heather. Yes. I I've caught said that quite a few times that. on here. <laughs> and Bex, actually. Did she, she say just, it? Just do it like that. Yeah. Just do it like that. Fine. Just do it like that. Oh, I told you. That was it. There was Bex was, I told you. Well, I think a lot of times as well, either I'm making a mistake or, um, I, you know, because I've been sewing so much that I maybe do things in a way that I wouldn't recommend beginners do. So things like pinning, you'll see me all the time not using pins. But if you um, haven't done a lot of sewing before, or you're new to quilting, I would definitely recommend pinning everything and getting used to that quarter inch I'm just seam. enjoying that there's a bear on your shoulder. <laughs> No. Other way. Oh, no, which he just way? Him. Oh, there he is. My so, little friend. Which way do you want me to? Doesn't really matter any any which way, whichever way they'll go. I any haven't pressed up? those ones. So there would be one more of those to make, which I'd got to, but I just want to get to the uh, do you final want me to press section the other ones? so we can see. I haven't sewn those ones together, but. No, that. Those ones. Oh, those you could do. Yeah. Come on, thank While you. While I'm here with the iron. Thank you. Right. So I'm going to move on to the. Um, final section which will be that the outer middle bits i've lost my way. outer middle bit yeah so yeah, it'll no, be I'm that patch um, yes. for the nine patch so you so we do have four of these ones one of the central one obviously and then we're going to make four um of outer these central middle bits so it's a, it's a similar technique so i'm i have the background fabric um rectangles and then squares that i'm going to draw um, diagonally on. If I hadn't just buried the ruler okay. <laughs> underneath the fabric. I just I'd dig just it out. Lovingly That's all right. pressed for you. This is looking a treat. I love these colours. They are. They're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be honest. I'm not normally a green kind of a girl, colour-wise. Like I do my recycling and stuff. I'm that yeah. sort of green, <laughs> but I don't. Not normally a green kind of girl. Just because I think it's not a colour that suits me, so I don't wear it. So it's not in my life that much anyway. Sure. But I love this. I have a lot of green in my house, actually. Do you? Yeah, it's a, quite a lot restful. of green in our living room. It is. It's really, really nice. But it's nice to have the vibrant green mixed in there as well. Yes. So, yeah. but all na naturey colours. My English today. Naturey colours. You heard it here first. Does it right? Okay. Pay attention. Pay attention. You at home, yes, and I, and this would be what I would be telling myself. Yes, I'm telling myself right now. We're about to sew a diagonal. Yes, on the line or quarter of an inch from the line. On the line. On the line. To think about it. On the line. Then we're going to trim it back and fold that back. Okay. So one at a time. Trim, press, and then the other side. You'll see. Oh, you've got to be. You. I think you need that coffee before you do this. Yeah. Just you've got to be awake to do this one, haven't you? Yeah. Now, when you're sewing these and you, you've got an edge, because if you're sewing corner to corner, it's a different story, but where you've got an edge, if you start on the edge there, you're less likely to have that um, eaten into the eaten machine. fabric. So when you're doing it like this, if you start heat from this straight edge yeah. and sew down that way, you're not going to have that chewed up fabric look. My um, parents are staying with us at the moment because the cavalry have arrived to look after poor Fred's. And, um, but my dad's decided that he's going to zip down to Cornwall and pick up a car 
as you do, don't know. Right. So um, this morning at five o'clock in the morning, there was someone in my kitchen <gasps> and I had to actually try and have a conversation before coffee. Aww. That's really tough. Even my, even my cat was confused this morning about really? why I was there so early. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what? Feed? Feed me now? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> she was just curled up and she just sort of looked at me and went, oh, it's you. Whatever. <laughs> went back to sleep, as cats tend to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lisa's got some good advice. You can learn the right way to do something before you do it uh, your own way. Know the rules before breaking them. Yes. I absolutely yes. agree, Lisa. That's yes. exactly it. Yeah. I think there are certain things that when, when you have a lot of experience, you can say you could try it this way. Yes. And there are some things that are great to learn from the beginning, but we all have our own sort of Intricacies. Not cheats, but you know, d yeah, different ways of doing yeah. things and ways that we found easier. But just because I sew without pins doesn't mean that somebody else would. And there would be quilters that have quilted longer than I have that still use pins. Yeah, and that's the, just their personal. Yeah, preference. there's no reason that they shouldn't. But it's just you find your own method and what suits you yeah. and and what works. Every Sunday what night, works I used you. to do my art homework. And um, it used to take me hours, hours and hours and hours. And my dad, I remember having a conversation with my dad, uh, just going, oh, like, why, why do I even need to, to draw right anyway? You know, because Picasso, he was wonky and all over the shop, wasn't he? <laughs> and he went, yes, yes, but, he calls me Flossie, yes, Flossie, but he could draw like Rembrandt by the age of 13. Yeah. Where do you go from there? Yeah. Uh, you know, you break the rules. Once you know them, you break them. You're quite right. Absolutely. And Catherine says, thank you, ladies, for a fab morning. Wow. Lucy, you're a great teacher and so laid back. Oh, that's kind I think of phases her just as well. Just as well, really. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all of us to deal with just as well. Uh, but thank you, Catherine. We've had great fun this morning. We have. It's been a lovely morning, actually. It has. I've really if enjoyed Becky's it. If Bex boys' cake, it would have just been the only thing. But she didn't. <laughs> She does make the best cakes. Did you have our coffee cake the other day? No. Oh, it was amazing. It had like shards of chocolate oh. with um with walnuts embedded oh, in it. Oh, lovely. Amazing. I love nuts. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> walnuts. Okay. I love walnuts. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So. Producer Hannah says she's just going to take that clip and have just, it as a ringtone. Thank you so much. <laughs> so another thing to be mindful of is trimming. Now with this, it's fairly obvious. I'm not going to trim off this whole section, but it has been known to have been done. <laughs> so just at some point in time, bear in mind which section do I not need. That's the section I'm going to trim off. The other okay. thing is you get loads of fabric with this. So there's plenty spare. Yes. Just and then as well. <laughs> and then again, you'll see when I fold that back that you've got that um, overlap that's going to end up in your seam. And that's going to be your quarter of an inch and that is yeah. where it should be because that's going to give you that perfect yes. point. And especially when you're a beginner, sometimes you do that and you go, oh no, my point I've isn't... Done it wrong. Yeah, my point isn't at the top, I've done something wrong. But you have to remember that that bit's going to be sewn to another bit yes. and so you need a quarter of an inch above Sounds the Sounds really tip. obvious, but I've had the panic. Yeah, I've no, it does, but I've, I've been in classes and students have gone and chopped it off <gasps> because they think, oh, no, that's wrong. I'll just, I'll just chop that off. You and they go, oh, look going, how nice, I told you. Yeah, look how nice my point is. And then I go, well, it's not going to be when it's sewn to the oh. next bit. So um, if you are a beginner and that's how it's looking, you're on the right track. Hooray! Yeah. You want it like that. So then again, we're just repeating it. So it's like building up and we've got smaller squares that we're going to sew there. And then we're folding nice. that back. So we're creating sort of a chevron. Love this. And I like that it's not how it could have been. Yes, me too. <laughs> Does that make sense? It, it could have just been sew these squares together, bish, bash, bosh, round the edge, done. Yeah. And but I, it's not. It's so much more than that. And this is, this is a great way to really play with, uh, with all of these different techniques. And it doesn't have to be on a massive, great big scale. But you know what I would love to make this into? Floor cushion. Yes, lovely. Big floor cushion. That would be amazing. Producer Hannah wants to add tassels on each corner. Yeah. Oh, she's into tassels and pom-poms. Oh, Hannah, so I might am be able to I. help I you with it. a bit of that. I've, I've got some you can have at home. So nice. Yeah. It, and it's fun to embellish things as well, just because I think it's really nice to have things around your house that make you smile. Yes. 
You are so right. Yeah. What is it? It should be function and form. If, if, it, if it isn't useful or you don't like how it looks, whoosh, get rid of it. That's the point. Yeah. Surround yourself with beautiful things. That's why I have you on the show, Lucy. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just trim those bits off. Right. And you can see I've got a growing Grow stack of pile. little triangles to do I something would be with. That as I go. Well, good point. Because actually, what you can do is now sew another line yes. half an inch away and then cut, cut it in off. The and then they're already sewn. So yeah. as you're sewing, you're just sewing another line each time. And then and then cutting off. But if, if you, you're a beginner, don't do just that what bit. I was going to say. Just, don't just bother. Don't make it that complicated. No. But if you've had your coffee and you are alert and you are with it, not too many coffees. Not too many coffees, so you're jittery. Do you know it's the it's um it's bad coffee beans if you get jittery. It should just just perk you up. It shouldn't oh, give it? you the jitters. It means that it's bad coffee. Oh, wow. I read. So if there's any mould on the beans when they roast it, oh, what well, gives you the jitters? I know, nice, eh? Nice. Let's yeah. not think about that. No, I get beautiful coffee. It's my little treat to myself. Yeah. It's proper nice coffee. Yeah. From a lovely man in Warwick Market, he just the nicest oh, coffee. Oh, nice. Yeah. And he sources it. He says sometimes he's offered cheap beans and he knows they've just been washed. Yeah, not mine's good. just that ready stuff. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> hey, did you see for our birthday we've been given a coffee machine in the, in the kitchen? No. No, oh, no, happy birthday, us. Oh, heading back to the kitchen shortly. <laughs> so, <laughs> how long have we got? Train, okay, so I would then be making another one of these. Yes. And sewing them together. So you can see it in the diagram there. So then what ultimately happens is you've got... Um, you're making triangles. So we've made that bit. That's that bit. Yes, that's da -da 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 -da. that bit. And then so you, do, you repeat it. that again flip it and then sew the two together. Yes. So are you making two triangles? And I've got to say, when I first looked at this design, I thought, oh no, there's loads of triangles. <laughs> oh I no. really don't want to. And then I read the pattern, I was like, she's a genius. This is brilliant. So, you know, it's step by step and you have to concentrate. That's okay. But it's relatively easy comparatively to how it could have been. Yes, yeah. and looks amazing. Yeah. That's it, I want these to spiral cushions now. So then you're taking your different sections. Yes. So we'll just um, lay it out with our beautiful leaves there. So you just get an idea. And then I can go back to sew another one of those. But I think I don't want to run out of time. So. Oh, question from Karen. Oh, she's just bringing it up. Hi, girls. Hello, Karen. Oh, yeah, here it is. Fantastic fun morning. Well, thank you very much. What is the name of the brown pen? It's oh. the... Um, it is your hemline um, white Whoa. offable marker. This yeah. is the one that when Joe Carter first started with us and she brought us the big eared bunnies, I came in there were a load of bunnies with their faces down on the radiators because she always marks her fabrics and the facial features with this because yeah. she knows it's just going to wipe off. And it's what's fantastic about it, it's a water erasable pen so you can um, you know, use water to, to wash it off but it also does rub off a little yeah, bit as no, well. So. It's, it's really fantastic, but what I really like about it is because it's like a felt tip pen, it's easy. it just glides on the fabric. It doesn't fabric. drag it's so on the fabric, easy does it? to use, no. Um, that is under pens, and what else? Pens and marking tools on the website, Karen. That's where you'll find it. She says, I wish sewing quarter was live all day. Uh, it says Karen, in fine. Okay, so then... So we. We'll get there. <laughs> Lucy's is, concentrating. I know. Not. I'm trying to think about how this is going to line up. It's not that, is it? It will be like that. So it looks all wrong because it's not sewn together, but it's right. So I'd have another one of these, so that's going to make up the triangle. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Something like yes. that. Yes, no, no, like no, you're way. right, no, you're right. I'm not sure. Yeah, because look. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. Oh, hang on, the ones on the uh, sides are meant to be the corners. So uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's, that's the wrong way around, but you'd sew another piece to it and then... Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. And make all the correct pieces, <laughs> and then you'll be there. Yeah. Hooray! So I might make another one of those. Lucy, thank you. Quick. Oh, am I, ever, am I done? Well, we've got, got about 40 seconds. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? No, 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 no. no. Not, but well, I not tried. Really. You did a cracking job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lucy, are you back in tomorrow or not? I am. Oh, you are? Tomorrow. You get to too many, you lucky thing. I know, I'm very excited. <sighs> and I've got two brilliant projects. One's my own, so I feel... 
not funny saying that, but it's Brilliant. really cool and I really, really like it. So Excellent. I'm looking forward to tomorrow as well. But how lucky that you can bring these things to air and share. Yeah. Share the creative love. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you, my joy. love. Thank um, you. We'll go and find some cake or something. Maybe. Yes. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Right. Okay, let's start with a bundle that Lucy has been using, which is this one over here. Now, this, the main fabric in this, that beautiful floral, you could, you know, use the leaves or the flowers. It's entirely up to you. That is art gallery fabrics, which is just beautiful. So you get a metre of that one, and then you get a half a metre of your linear, half a metre of your various greens. They're all there. So it's three metres of fabric uh, in there and your wadding and your thread and your instructions and, 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 and you get loads left over. Happy days. Uh, check out on that one because otherwise it's going to go and then you'll uh, miss out and then you'll be sad. Don't be sad. Now, uh, let's... Uh, oh, let's go red, says producer Hannah. Yeah. Now, you see this, I think, is going to look beautiful as your central piece. You get a metre of this. This is your Tilda Botanical and it's just one of my favourite tildes ever. And then you get, so you get a metre of that one, half a metre of your linear, half a metre of your red, half a metre, more tilde, whoop, whoop. And then half a metre of your red spot on, you will get loads left over and thread and instructions and wadding. We don't bother putting the wadding out on the desk because it just gets in the way. Now let's have a look at the other green, shall we? Now. Similar to the other one, so all of the greens are exactly the same on this one, but it's just we've put a different art gallery fabric fabric in there. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah. So the central, central circle could be that beautiful floral. Nice, it's sort of a bouquet affair. There you go, let me show you that floral. It's kind of asking to be the central piece, isn't it? Nice, beautiful. Feels so soft. Now, Tim Holtz. Uh, is it still in the lead? Yeah, good. Uh, so if you are after the Tim Holtz, and this has got that exquisite damask in there, which is this one here. Gorgeous. It's just, honestly, it's, it's got, because it looks sort of a bit stripy, but that's because it's got um, some writing through it, some typeface through there. And then you've also got half a metre, half a metre, Half a metre, half a metre. Thread, instructions, wadding, boom, you're done. Now, um, I like the bees though. I do love the bees. You get your thread. See, we coordinate all the threads and everything. That's all done for you. You get a metre of these bees. This one's the bee's knees. And sunflowers. Yeah, that's what we need on a miserable day like today. Some sunflowers to brighten everything up. And then... You've got half a metre of those bees, half a metre of your beautiful yellow and your silver with your spot on, and then you've got your linear. Love that. That's 43.99 for all of that. OHGC 22. Hey, now, did we mention coming up tomorrow? Tula Pink. Yay! How exciting. We haven't had her on the shows yet. We've had, you know, Kay Fassett and Anna Maria Horner, but now... Yes, we are adding her to our array. So let's have a look at what she's got for us. So at 8 a.m. is the Tula Pink debut. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 9 a.m. Travelling Bloom Quilts. That's with our Lucy. Oh, yeah. What a cracking day tomorrow. 10 a.m. More Tula. Not just one lot. Two lots of Tula. And then 11 a.m. is Lucy's Sewing Planner. Is that the one you've designed yourself? Nice, very nice. That is what is coming up tomorrow with John Scott, with Tula Pink, with her beautiful fabric. So if you absolutely love her fabrics, or if you've never heard of her and just want to know a little bit more about her, she's an amazing artist and you're going to hear so much about how she does her design process and everything else. So you've got to stay tuned tomorrow, bright and early. Bye-bye. We're celebrating our birthday this week with eight amazing competitions and all you have to do for a chance to win is shop with us at Sewing Quarter. When you make your next purchase at Sewing Quarter from Wednesday the 31st of January until the 7th of February, you'll automatically be entered into our daily prize draw. The amazing prizes change every day and include stunning fat quarters, patterns, books, storage bags and tools. And that's not all. We're finishing the birthday week with a mega bundle of goodies to be won, worth over £700. 
Everyone who has shopped with us and spent over £30 during our special birthday week will be entered into a draw to win a final prize. An Elna Lotus sewing machine plus reams of fabric, prim accessories, storage and so much more. So join us for the celebration from Wednesday the 31st of January on Sewing Quarter and be in with a chance to win. Good luck!